ask you a question? Why you don't never play with my nipples? I got nipples too. It's my turn to get tied up. Not them handcuffs though. I got PTSD. Welcome to Heart of Soul, where men speak. So hopefully somebody will understand. Okay. That's cool. Keep that in mind. Don't worry about nothing. That's cool. <laughs> Don't try to throw me on the buses. No, no, Don't be like, let me roll this nigga in the subway Greyhound. A Peter Pan. Burn the whole house down. Yeah. You feel me? Don't do it like that. Keep it sexy, nigga. But yo, how was the other night, though? Which which one? This, um, When you went to the, to the spa, John. Mm. Figured. Why? Because you would have called me if you had, if it was a good night. Yeah, it wasn't lit. Wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't lit lit lit. Mm 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 mm. Seen Tebow today? Yeah, see him, see him most days. Say anything? To you? He told me he got a lot going on. I said, "What does it mean? Why niggas always got a lot going on? Either niggas lot going on or their grandma died. Like niggas' yeah. grandma's always dying." Why you keep asking for him? I mean, like, yeah, because you know he's trying to check on people here today, going tomorrow. I just met him yesterday. But you've been worried about him for weeks. Yeah. He said he had mental health issues. That's why I'm, you know, I work in a mental health facility. So it's my job to like kind of check on these things. Not nah, just everybody. Anybody I come in contact with. Really? No. Not You're really. just lying? Yeah. <laughs> for the culture? For the aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> but why are you so worried? What's up with you? Nah, I mean, you know, he was just here and then he just wasn't. I was like, okay. A lot of people was here and then they wasn't. <laughs> but you asked <laughs> it. It's the nature of the game. Already. Because the last time he said he said it was your fault he wasn't here, so I just wanted Who to see. Said that? See, I right, was just saying. My he said he mom. said Mel, he said Melly ain't reach out to him and let him know we was recording. He said that, I so I'm just. That. Then you said you did text him, <laughs> so I just want to just make sure that he's everything is fine. I can't ask questions about people who come in and out of this like establishment. Ten times for someone you have met like one day. <laughs> I met him like five times. You like? So would you like him? You, you nah, he has dreads. I don't like guys with dreads. Because <laughs> I don't like guys with dreads. I thought I was the only bi one on the show. <laughs> you are. <laughs> what, 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 yo, let me ask y'all a question. Serious shit. Like we 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 caught it, right? We're on. What exactly? You know, some people thought I was bi. I'm, I'm like, why? Like seriously, you you, were you bi? went on there. Bitch can, I, can, I, can I can I can I explain what happened? Why would you? Good. All right. So what happened was, I was in the bathroom. Let's talk. Let's first of all let's draw the scenery out. Let's let's let them know what happened. I'm scrolling on the ground. No. You Yesterday, I post something where a person says, if a person says they're Pisces, I already know they're bi or some shit like that. And I said, honestly, I can see where that person's coming from, being the Pisces. I can see where they're coming from. <laughs> I got a lot of comments from the fucking masses. You seen the comments that I got from I was, people? I was seeing them. I was talking about the fact that I'm emotional, the fact that I like plants. Yeah. Candles. You're in touch with the other pink. Side. Yeah. I like pussy though. Like I, I was being I was joking. Funny. I was being yeah. funny. So people seriously My nigga, thought you were bisexual. Look at the comments I got from the people in the, the people in this world. I, I was I was taken aback actually. Like, oh yeah. I'm currently dating a bisexual Pisces and I fucking love it here. That's uh, one. Okay. The next one. Listen, my ex was a Pisces and been engaged twice, once to a woman and once to a man. The next one, well, the Pisces man I know they feel like they w I feel like they would let me peg them. I was like, yo, what's up with y'all? What, what the fuck is going on? Why y'all telling me this? <laughs> Why are you telling me this? I put out a poll. Wait, y'all really thought I was bi? I was joking. I see. And it. a few, like fifteen percent, was like, yeah. So fifteen is hard or soft pod included. Hard or soft show included. Who the fuck? Why did would you that? put? Who the fuck did that? 
Why would you do that? Wait, so somebody hacked us and no, went on the page actually, and King voted? Actually, King Loon the first actually did also did it. When I looked at the, at the, you know, you can see who answered the shit. So when you say no, King, no, so it, it ain't no. So you say nothing, bro. No, you I have a answer, question. What is this? I have a question. Can I ask a question? So when you say King Loon the first, is it like number one S T or letter F I R S T? It's King Loon. It's your page, King <clears throat> Loon. Where'd it go? What the fuck, bro? Why you do that? What, what's that about? So, and hardest off. So you went to one. You said yes. Then you logged out. You went to your personal page. And you said yes again. So, what's that about? Let me explain. What's up with you? Can I elaborate? What happened was I was in the restroom. I was washing my hands after I finished using the bathroom like normal clean people after should you do. You had your penis in your hand. Yes, correct. Washed my hands. Then you pick up the phone and went to my page. No, you just popped up. Yeah. So I, I seen this shit hands, so I and, I like, and I was like, and <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's just popped up. Tao, boy, I was like, what the fuck is this bullshit? I just don't pay no mind. Oh, I thought I scrolled oh, away. Oh, oh, but you know, sometimes when your phone screen is wet, it be doing shit. It, it, you feel wet. me? So the phone screen sent, was wet when it, I was around. It, it caught it somebody, it sent the text message and it automatically voted yes. Right? Yeah, they said, so, yo, look, the ba- loon in the bathroom. Yo, yo, shut the wow. fuck up. Yo, yo, what shut a up. coincidence. Shut up. <laughs> and then, Loon's so, in the bathroom. And then I went to respond to somebody about our DR trip coming up very soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got the DR trip. That's that's fine. Went to respond to it. Don't try to deflect. Just just, I was handling business, right? And my hands were still wet. I didn't have any paper towel. So in the pro- after I sent the DM, I, I thought I hit. You know, you wipe your, your hand on your pants to dry it off. I did. It was still a little damp. So the dampness accidentally voted yes on the other page as well. But I don't think you're bisexual. But why would I think that? Listen, why I don't have no that? problem if if you're bisexual, you're bisexual. I don't. I I listen. Enjoying the. If you're bisexual, you're actually getting the most out of it. You're cheating. You could do whatever you want. It's not. You really could word. do like 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 Sunny like Sunny said Sunny. Sunny. Look at Melly over there. Psst, there you go. All right now. Like Sonny said, you mm-hmm. could literally do, Do you have no, you could do whatever the fuck you want. But for me, it's like, <clears throat> I don't think that if you're a heterosexual, somebody said, no, you're bi-curious. What? I think you're bi-curious. This is about you? Yeah, I said, what's bi-curious? <clears throat> Melly, you got a mic over there? What? What's bi-curious? I have no idea. I guess you're, you're curious about about what? the other sex about <laughs> sucking <I> dick <laughs> like like about what what like is you, bi curious you, you tip your i mean you dip your toe just a tip just, just tip just just a tip yeah you put your, your toe in the pool um, before you jump in with all due respect to the to the gay community i would say that i think that heterosexual people whether it's straight i mean let me take that off the table i think that anybody that is of one thing whether it's gay, heterosexual, whatever it may be, right? And they only like one thing. The thought of having relations with somebody else, of another thing, it kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, it's like, ugh. It's like, ugh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I, I would not assume, to be disrespectful, but you know, yeah, it is what it is. Women that are not curious, because mm-hmm. I think more women are bi-curious than men. Way more. Right, By I think far. it's way more acceptable. I yeah. think that just because women are so dope. Another thing I said is that I, I don't really think that men are sexy. I think that women yeah. like male energy, masculine energy. Heterosexual women like masculine energy. Mm-hmm. What he brings to the room, what he makes them feel, mm-hmm. not really what he looks like. I think that men are a lot more shallow. Way more shallow. You know what I'm saying? By far. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, a woman could like your vibe. Right, but not and necessarily. Just fuck you based on that, yeah, but not necessarily. Think you the finest nigga of all time, and, and which be is with crazy, you and love you. That ever happened you? to you? No, I'm fire. What do you mean? I look good. What? I'm, I'm probably not the best vibe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty vibes. Um, but I think that women, um, can be more bi curious because women have that this sensuality, that sexiness, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But a heterosexual, heterosexual woman will kind of be icked, icked yeah, like, mm-hmm. by another woman kissing her or touching her mm-hmm. or you know what I'm saying like she's not bi-curious at all I think they're way less than that than bi-curious women it's way more bi-curious women by far right 
Yeah, even also women, <clears throat> even like to the heterosexual women, if you ever look at like their relationships, like with their female friends who are also heterosexual, they also be having a little bit of gay in their friendship, like touching butts and shit like that. Like, Those are bi curious. You think? I don't I think, think so. They're bi curious. I don't think so. They would let a bitch eat their pussy. They wouldn't eat pussy. That's the difference. You think so? Yes, they would let a chick eat their box. They would not eat box. So, They're bi curious. So if a chick go to the so if a chick squeeze her homegirl titties in a picture, you think she bi curious? Like she'll probably get her box eight. You think so? Yes, of course. I don't want to say that. I don't want to make that undisputed claim. I'll give I, you I the benefit be of the doubt. I, you, I, but you could be right. I, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's maybe it's case right. by case. Yeah, because what do y'all think? What do you think, Melly? Would you just squeeze the chick's titties? No, I don't like the like even with my friends. They're very comfortable because we you know we've known each other for a very long time so they will like touch my boobs and stuff like that and i'll be like ah stop like i always do that because i just <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop, stop. <laughs> the fuck was that <laughs> so what do you mean no, so sorry. what do you mean so i'm literally not i'm not interested in that at all so i just don't females like even dancing with females like touching me like that They're women not females sorry <sighs> sorry Women, she's Gosh. like oh, these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> bitches are so particular. <laughs> Yo. So for me, I'm totally off of that. Like I'm not curious whatsoever. I'm not flexible. I'm none of You're that. You're straight heterosexual. Like, strictly, strictly, dickly. strictly, dickly. Like, and I think strictly. that's how most men are. Mm -hmm. Heterosexual men, they not gonna. There is no, like the other side is way over there. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. There's no crossing boundaries. Like mm -hmm. I, I don't even like touching a per, a nigga yeah, like that. Yeah, word, like, word, it's word. weird. If it's not aggressively like, yo, what up, bro? Yeah, word, like, yo, you good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you straight? Then yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's weird. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so I don't know where bi curious came from. So you see, I don't know because a nigga like me, I, I make a like, I make some gay jokes sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll I'll make a couple gay jokes here and there. You know, like I'll I'll entertain. You're bi curious. I'm not by curious. You're by curious. I is nothing curious. So about you said you want that dick. You want that. I big never dick. said that. You said you want that big dick attached. No, to no, no. What I said was. <laughs> what I said. What was, I said. Yo, I that's, not that, what I, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. Don't get me started. <laughs> I want a big dick. That's what I <laughs> that's want. That's not what I said. I got a big dick. <laughs> All right. Yo, you know what? I thought my. Can we? Can we? Can we talk about that? Yeah, yeah. I thought my shit was big. All right. Wait, so right. going back to no, the, right. the topic at hand. Wait, wait, wait. Someone I, in the yo, chat wait, said. No, no, wait, wait. Someone in the chat said that. Um, See, I'll smack asses on the Because I think there's field. like flexibility. Like some people are flexible. <clears throat> so flexible how? I, I don't know. I think they need to elaborate more on that. Um, yeah, Flex hetero flexible. That's more of hetero flexible. What does that mean? What does I don't that know mean? what that means. I don't know what that yeah, means. Let's call on the phone. Let's see what she just say. Let's Who, who's that? You know what? You know them? Yeah. Let me see. <coughs> wow. Okay. Ski you. I don't know why I said that. I'm saying that all day. Yes. What the hell is hetero flexible? Hetero flexible. Okay, so hetero flexible is the, what you're talking about. That woman or that man. Like for example, they won't do anything back with someone of the same sex they may let someone of the same sex do something to them they're not attracted to them they don't want to be with them they don't want to do anything it's more of they do enjoy pleasure right so it's a little they're a little flexible about their heterosexuality they're not like you're talking about when you say heterosexual as a man right you're talking about from the perspective of a heterosexual male strictly liking women Hetero, hetero flexible is no i like i like the people of the opposite sex but i might do a little something with someone of the same sex so i was talking to somebody recently and they said they know a guy that loves women mm -hmm. always been around women but every once in a while he likes getting his dick sucked by a man mm -hmm. i said he's bi curious you're that's saying he's hetero flexible. flexible. Is this a that new is thing? Flexible. This is like a new yes, that category? Is a new thing. That's the part, right? So, like, this is the portion that when we're talking about the terminologies every day, it's like technology, it's updates. Remember, Lord said, said that it's updates every what freaking two seconds. So, no, hetero flexible is a gross software. thing because he would never be with a man. He probably would never kiss him, anything. He just go get hit. Um, I would challenge that in the fact that because he is attracted to the idea of a male pleasuring him in that fashion, 
he is bi curious. Now he has boundaries because I, it's like there's so many subsectors, and I really don't want to fight back on the community and what's this and what's that. But as a hetero man, it's like you don't have intimate thoughts, thoughts, desires so that's of another where the male. Comes in, right. So when you're talking about by curious, first of all, curiosity is the base word. So a curious person, if your friend, he would come off, I would say he's more bisexual than by curious, because those who are bi curious, they've never actually explored. That's where the curious portion comes from. So the difference between someone who is bisexual and, bi and hetero flexible, there isn't a desire to have someone of that same sex do this thing to you it's just the override of my personal pleasure me busting this nut is more important than who it who does it for me hmm. that's hmm. it but yeah, so that's then the but why is it flexible but see mm -hmm. the thing is is that okay at some point you you choose your partner right like yeah i don't i like getting my dick sucked i i don't choose men to do that yes so because or, or your, want that to means that fantasize your pleasure about that. does not supersede right like so who provides pleasure to you does not supersede the pleasure itself the pleasure does not supersede who i think it's backwards <clears throat> yeah. you said it around you said it backwards oh, right yes. the pleasure yes. does not supersede who does for it? you hmm. for you okay yes. okay but for someone who's hetero flexible who gives them pleasure doesn't necessarily matter as long as they're the only ones receiving the pleasure. And typically it is around oral. Um, when you start going into penetration, that's when we're talking about sexuality, right? Mm. So um, that's where the heteroflexible comes in at. All right. Thank you, Aisha. I appreciate it. You are welcome. Talk to you later. Yeah. What do you think, Lou? You ever been bi-curious? No. We was talking about, yeah, I know that guy. We walking down the block. I know he be fucking the shit out of Shorty. Um, you know, you here's the thing. You kind of looked at him like, yeah, he's sexy. So, you never think a nigga was sexy? I say you get mad bitches. I that's the, that's the same thing. No, I say like, he, I know thing. he get mad bitches. That's the same thing. Oh, he a wavy Basically nigga. No, it's not. It's not, fine. I don't think he's sexy. Because it's, it's, sexy means like, damn, I want that. I just say, yo, I can see why he fuck mad bitches. Not everybody you think is sexy, you got to want. Yeah. Name one chick you think that's sexy that you don't want. Rihanna. You want Rihanna? Nah. Well, she I have two kids now. I don't know if you want it now, but if, if Rihanna, if Rihanna, she's sexy. You said who? Beyonce. But she's a Virgo, so that cancels out. Yo, you good? <laughs> You're good. Nah, I, I think I like Virgos too. I just like. I know them, you then do. I don't. You have to like yourself. But um, to answer your question, I, like that. I see what you're doing. I am. Listen, I'm not here to dissect or dive into the community's business. My opinion on it, we're so I feel, pussy with the community. Yeah, we're, we're so I, pussy with listen, the community. <laughs> like, we don't don't here. Smoke with I am listen, here. Hey, y'all do what y'all do. We're good. Listen, <laughs> all I will say is I feel if you have any kind of sexual attraction or the thought of like the same sex like arouses you in any way, shape, or form, regardless if you can see yourself being with them or not, if you can have any kind of sexual arousal or stimulation by just the thought of the same sex, you are either gay bi curious bisexual or one of them things like i feel like you in that umbrella i to be honest with you and you know i can't keep up with the updates man speaking so of the community somebody reached out to me the other day i wanted to read this damn i lost it it's here somewhere give me a second un momento por favor can we get back can i have something i want to say yeah you're talking about big dick go ahead bro i thought my dick was big bro I mean, thanks. He really went back what, to yeah, that. Yeah, nah, that shit kind of fucked me. I was watching porn maybe like two, three days ago for the first time in Mad Long. And um, regular porn, nice little thumbnail. I saw I click on it. So the nigga says some shit like, oh, you've been a bad girl. She goes, no, not this again. And she's on her knees like it's like the dick is punishment. And I'm just like, okay. I mean, you know, I watch Mad Porn. I seen niggas with some shit. I'm like, okay, whatever. None I ain't never seen before. This nigga backs out a fire hydrant. Nigga said a fire hose. The nigga snow a hydrant, nigga. The shit was like this. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm not watching this bullshit. I have never felt more insecure in my life. Why? Because the nigga shit, yo, the shit was like not this. Like, the nigga like backed out of shit in one hand and the other one <laughs> in the other hand. Like, <laughs> like it was a sea soldier. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, nigga, the nigga backed his shit out. And I was like, yo, 
What the fuck? I'm like, yo, bitches like, like, I would even, if I was a chick, I wouldn't even want to fuck nothing like that. I'm gonna keep, keep it with you. I was dealing with a chick the other day, and I feel and big dicks I had my aesthetics. shit out. And, you know, early in the day, we were talking mm-hmm. about it, and she was like, you know, I don't really like big dicks like that. I was like, I don't got a, you know, huge dick. My shit is good. It's cool. My shit is it's cool. My shit valid. Valid. You know what I'm if I could get, if I could get some attack on my shit, my shit would say valid. Like I know I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like but VD. my shit ain't super. I'm like yeah. But she was like, mm, you have what what is called boyfriend dick. I don't. Mm, nah, I've heard that, that don't want. I heard that. I think this is something with our egos though, because she was like, you're a dick that I could want every day. Every once in a while, I want to wild out. Right, you don't drink. Wild out. Yeah. Right, you don't drink. <laughs> no, Every once in a while, you get a drink. Yeah. That feeling that you get that drink is the eleven twelves. Like every once in a while, you want to go off the fucking map with your shit. But she was like, "Yo, this is not something I want every day." It's like this, your shit is big enough, solid enough, thick enough for me to want every day and feel super pleasured by, super stretched by, but not feel like my body's being invaded. By said fire hydrant. Nah, I, give me the fire hydrant. I'm trying to break the windows in this motherfucker. Somebody told was, was it? Did you was That's you hurt? Ego. Was it hurt when she told you that? Nah, because I know my shit's solid. I know my shit cool, but somebody told me that too. And when she told, based on where I was in life, when she told me that, I kind of felt the way because I didn't even know what it meant. You feel me? She was like, I said, yo, um, I was like, yo, what is boyfriend dick? I asked my homegirl because I didn't want to ask her. She literally said, yo, that's when your dick ain't too big, but it ain't that little. And I was like, okay, it's not that, what you mean it's not that big? And I was like, that's how you feel? <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, not that little. Either. I was like, yo. That shit hit him in the gut. I, like, I didn't hear the not that little. I just heard it's not that big. I was like, what? Yeah. And I was like, I want that overwhelming shit. Like, I want that shit. You got to hit me up you, once. Though. Yeah, it's for me. It's for me. But the fact that she said not that little. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> didn't hear that part. We, do, 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 so there are such things as size queens. Now, somebody in the, um, Comment was like, I don't want to bleed after sex because that shit hurts, and I get that. I like, got band aids. You don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got band aids. We can Son, work this out. Women want to be able to enjoy the moment. Mm-hmm. I think I like that fire hydrant porn or fire hose porn mm-hmm. because I like seeing her be able to take that shit. Yeah. Again, it goes to her tolerance. Mm-hmm. That also is the reason why I like. What's it called? Uh, spit raw, or gang bang? Mm-hmm. It's all. It's it's literally about a woman being able to do so much. Mm-hmm. It's her high tolerance of pain or whatever it may be. It's literally about her mm-hmm. to me. You're right. Your average right. woman is not trying to endure that every night on some chill shit. Nah. You know what's funny when you when you say it like that? I actually do have a story that kind of relates to that. Mm-hmm. You know, size is subjective based on who you ask. I was I was dealing with a young lady. Oh shit! I'm about to say <clears throat> some shit to this nigga. I was dealing with a young lady a little while ago, eons ago, I should say, and um, she had she didn't have sex in a minute. You know, um, to be honest, she told me that she she had a situation. She told me this after the fact, but she ended up having a situation, and it's like she just didn't want to have sex for a while. I'm just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. So she would come to my crib. Shout out to her. She come all the way from Jersey, you know to. Like she sucking, she necking me, necking me. And I'm just like, y'all want some box? And she was like, uh, okay. And I could never get my shit in. Like she would always be like, yo, it's too big or I'm not ready. Yeah, and like, I'm just yeah. saying like, yo, but this went on for like weeks though. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I'm tight. Cause I'm like, nice tight her. That was a good shot. Thank you, bro. That was a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> So the the last time she came, she was like, "Yo, just just try to shove it in." And I tried, and I was like, "Uh," and it didn't work. And she like started to like bleed a little bit for real. You feel me? From where? From her box. But if okay, I was trying to get it. It was almost like she was a virgin again. When you say it bled, how far did you go in, bro? Just the tip of the head. I didn't even get in. Really, I still ain't get in. I didn't even get in, and it started to like bleed like that. And I was like, "Damn, yo, she really tried butthole." Shit got more action. Can you relax? Butthole get Can you action relax? every day. Butthole get action every day. Relax. You could have got in that butthole. I wasn't, I didn't, I don't want, the first time we had, question, since we're here. You never had sex with a girl a day in her life. Fucked in the ass. You fucked a chicken ass when you fucked in the pussy before? Yes. No, you didn't. I, I've told this story on this on the show. Shorty, I knew her my whole life. 
baddest chick at the time that I'd ever seen. Like she was just mm -hmm. super fire. I would always go to her job, just mess with her. You know what I mean? But we never did nothing. Seen her a couple years later. We still had that attraction. She was like, come through. But I knew she was married. Mm. I go to the crib. We wind up chilling for a minute. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I want to fuck you, but I, my husband is going to know. Wait, no. King, 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 king. I, nigga, we sitting clothes king, on. King. She said it like it was like a sentence. Like it was just nothing. King. She just said it like, yo, I want to fuck you, but it can't be. Yeah, she's You fucked on the ass to leave no evidence? Yeah. Yo, that's not the most diabolical shit. Yeah, but, oh but my God. Is it arousing, God. though? Yo, women is it are arousing, crazy. though? It is. That Bro, have, yeah, have been tough. she leaned over. She threw it. <laughs> Put that shit in, in, this her before Lou. in between her cheeks. This yeah. before Lou. And leaned over the couch and spread her shit ass fat, nigga. Mm. Going in there. My shit plopped in. You know, you put it on top and yeah. you just plop the head in and she go, bloop. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. her shit out. She's like, uh. Word. I'm like, uh. <laughs> 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 uh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. yes. I know, that's kind of tough. That's kinda... Took it in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, you did not. No, you did yes. not. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of tough. I ain't go for it. I like that. Though. That's kind of tough. I like that. I will say this. Um, that's tough. When you say that Shorty had been through some things mm -hmm. and didn't want to address it, they gonna get real dark right now. But yeah. as men, I think it's important for us to pay attention to certain shit. Read the room. Hmm. Read the room. You gotta read the room. Um, I was with a young lady, and you know, I'm wilding her up, and. Um, took off the couch and I threw on the floor. Boom. Spread her legs out flat. Like a split? Hmm? Like a split? Nah, flat. Like she was like... Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was about to say coffin. Like she was... <laughs> but she's laid down on the floor flat and I got on a froggy and I threw it in a joint. But so, a lot of times I get aggressive to the point where I want you to feel like I'm invading your body. So I like put my hand on, my hand on her head put my head into the floor while I'm rocking her shit because I want her to feel like she's being super dominated. Mm -hmm. And she was like, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Don't, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. So I took my hand off, you know what I'm saying? I grabbed the other way. She was like, all right, cool. So we, we wilded out. And, and later on, the next day, we were, uh, do, you, do you do like diagnosis of sex? Like, do you talk about it the next day? Um, the, yeah, reviews. They, yeah, you th think reviews? helps. <laughs> you know Not with everybody though, but I've, I do it. I basically try to do a dick yoke with everybody I, I have sex with. You should now at this point in time you know in your saying? life. Honestly, we both should honestly. But so, yeah. uh, she she was like, you know, honestly, I just really appreciate how attentive you were to my body and the fact that you listened to me when I said I didn't like that. You didn't go back to doing it. And um, one thing I noticed while we were having sex is that she sex very hard, F rough. Bang, 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 bang. <clears throat> like she'll knock the, she'll knock my, she's fucking me. She's mm. fucking, 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 fucking. I'm like, yo. Do you like that? I don't really enjoy that. Yeah, I don't enjoy that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I feel like I'm trying to hurt you or you're trying to hurt, hurt me. We fight. It's like, yeah, it feels like, it feels like your pussy stopped up and you're using my dick as a plunger. And like, you're just like, like you know what I'm saying? You're trying to like yeah. fuck something out mm -hmm. of your box. And I'm like, that shit does not. I'm gonna get soft. I'm getting soft. Yeah. Right? You're gonna knock the blood out of my dick. Yeah, literally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, so I communicated that, you know, I didn't enjoy that. And she said, All right, I'll switch it up or whatever. But at the same time, it reminded me of a situation earlier or earlier situations that I've been through. And I was like, um, have you ever been, um, you know, sexually in a situation, sexually, you know, assaulted in any way, shape, or form? And she was, you know, she said yes. She affirmed that these things happen, and as a, it, it was that what I did to her. We're gonna put a um, disclaimer. Yeah. Around Sorry about that. Minutes. Yes. Let's do a trigger <clears throat> right now. Around if like twenty five minutes. Have been through something as most women have been. Mm -hmm. I want to let you know that we love you here. Yeah. Um, we are here for your to understand you. And to let you know that, you know, every man isn't like that. Every man doesn't derive pleasure from that. Every man can't even function on that level. I would never hurt a woman in that fashion. 
um, I do want to say that this this moment in the show is made to let men know to listen, to pay attention to the surroundings, to pay attention <coughs> to women, and also to ask questions which make them feel safe with expressing things that they may have suppressed because they don't feel comfortable telling, especially other men. They may have told the women in life or certain friends of theirs, because not all women are there to listen either. A lot of people will blame you for the situation you got into. Um, but as a man that has, a, that first of all loves you all and also has women in my life that I love, I do feel it's important to have these certain conversations. So going forward, this is what we're gonna do for the next four or five minutes. If you wanna fast forward, um, mm -hmm. I understand and you know, always love to you. She had experienced the the guy pinned her down, put his hand on her head, and you know, it. yeah, and it was somebody she was close to that did it. Um, and I asked her, I said, uh, "Do you think that there is a connection?" You know, after we spoke about that, it wasn't just initially about the sex. Um, I asked her, "Do you think there's a connection between that instance and the way?" you like to have sex the hard mm -hmm. and she was like you know i never thought about that <clears throat> i never thought about it like that and i was like is are you okay with sensuality with softness like or does that scare you is that too vulnerable for you because of, you know she was like yo honestly i'm really not comfortable talking about it right now like this is um uncomfortable for me so i was like wow like you probably infl you probably just struck a whole new wave pattern for her to even think about some shit. And it's funny you say that. I've actually been in a situation like that when mm -hmm. you say that. When um I'll never forget it's July fourth, two thousand and seventeen. Two thousand sixteen. I'm dropping my little my my little shorty at the time to Harlem and it was super pouring rain that night, like a rain storm. Did you ride your bike up there? Nah, that's when I had my beamer at the time. <laughs> so I'm on a bridge, right? I forgot what bridge I'm on. It's RFK Bridge, I think it is. Mm -hmm. So um, what it's happened? called the Triborough to most people that okay. drive. But all right, Triborough. They changed it to RFK. So if you're a new oh, driver, I, I don't be uptown like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> More so, cars. Shut up. But um, what happened was my car ended up spinning out, and I ended up hitting a taxi, and then I hit the fucking divider, mm -hmm. and like I don't want to say I almost flipped over, but I hit it kind of hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, filed said. the police report, whatever. I took her home, but yo, driving home, I felt mad shaky like i felt like the car was shaking but it wasn't shaking i was shaking and it's like i was afraid to drive mm -hmm. and i'm like why am i being so pussy like what the fuck so i said nah fuck that yo, so what i did that's was a real feeling though so the Anxiety? next yeah so the next i said yo you gotta shake this shit off so i got on the belt and i did like a buck 50 just to shake that shit off like yeah nigga, you gonna shake it off but I, my response to my trauma was really aggressive and just real Ugh, like nigga, Damn, like I'ma take crazy. that before I'ma take it from you before you take it from me, mm -hmm. kind of thing. And for a while I was driving like that, like just mad aggressive, like all the time. I'm going nowhere 75 miles per hour. I'm like, yo, I ain't never gonna be afraid to be behind the wizard of a car never again. And then one day I was like, this yo, bro, a poet. This nigga's not a poet. <laughs> this nigga's stupid. This nigga's yo, nigga, <laughs> stupid. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I didn't realize until you just said it though. And then one day I was like, yo, bro, like it's fine, you know, that situation's over and done with. You don't really have to drive like that. You don't have nothing to prove to nobody. It's nothing to be scared of. Down to the fact, they got speed cameras. You can't afford to drive like this. So you got to relax. I will say that to say, though, I feel where you're coming from, and I agree. She probably don't even realize it, but now that you say it, because you had that conversation with her, she's gonna be. it might have been uncomfortable. She might not have liked that you did it, but she's probably going to be in the toilet like, yeah, maybe I do be wilding because of that situation. I don't know. If she, I would say she didn't like the convo. I mm -hmm. think that, it, you know, as somebody said in the shot, mm -hmm. uh, in the... Uh, comments here of the discord um you read pilter people aren't always aware of their trauma or how it has impacted them mm -hmm. and it, very often i find myself with all of the podcasts and that i do all of the conversations that i do i find myself like understanding people more, more than they understand them themselves, themselves or expect or... me to be reading them <clears throat> you know what i'm saying that's another thing about you being bi curious when you just know we just know people like you, uh, you missed the moment you missed the mark. I, I was trying to avoid you being bi curious. I, I don't, I don't want curious. that for you. I don't want that for you. But 
Bus, okay. As a Pisces man, which is what they saying, um, is by. Mm -hmm. I think that I'm emotionally intelligent. I think that I'm learning more, especially being these podcasts. I'm learning more about myself, feelings, and I'm able to kind of be empathetic to other people's thoughts and feelings. And so when I see something, I'll talk about it with you and be willing to listen. I think mm -hmm. most men ain't really going to be on that. You know what I'm saying? So you know one thing that I see, <clears throat> one of the things that I see similar in you and me, not necessarily today. Hold on, hold on, but hold what? On. I just what hold happened? on, nah, nah, nah. Because how the fuck we having this kind of conversation, right? Yeah. I see a comment in the motherfucking thing. You know the comment I see? The last comment that's being talked about right now. We're talking about mental health. We're talking about <laughs> how we get here. <laughs> hey, yo, sweetheart. They're, they're in the comments. I just like dick prefer preferably <clears throat> thick and long, but it has to be thick. That's something I can't move on. Well, like I like the stretch. <laughs> And if you guys are curious what we're talking about, we're talking about our live group chat Discord, which you have to be a Patreon <laughs> member in order to join. So if you would like to join in on the fun, like, are we boring? And see us record live. Please go to patreon.com backslash the hard or soft show. The hard or soft you have show. to type it in. We will not pop up. Again, that is patreon.com backslash the hard or soft show and come join us. They see really what we're going on. But that's very disrespectful, y'all. Like, can all right. save your dick let's, to a let's, All right, fine. Let's get back yeah. to the sex since they... they yeah, yeah. Since we I born. got a few videos. You got a, right? you got a video? I got right. a video. Here's the thing. Uh -huh. Have you ever found yourself watching a video? I'm sorry I'm about to do this to you. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not. Because you, you liked his dick. Huh? Have you ever found yourself watching a video because you liked the dick? You went to see what his dick did to her. So the heterosexual way to say this is I do have male porn stars that I do follow. Is it, all right. Yeah. I like, see you going. Yeah. Like I have like, I ain't, there's certain niggas that I also do not follow. I say this at least once a month. I don't watch no Brian Pumper films. I don't give a fuck if you Beyonce. If you fucking Brian Pumper, I'm not watching this. This shit is trash. But there's also niggas who I always have, like I'll always watch Justice Slayer. Shout out to Justice Slayer. Mm -hmm. I always watch Wesley Pipes. He from he like my alter ego somehow, some way. Mm -hmm. I watch Mandingo sometimes when I want to see some extreme shit. So I don't watch it for the dick. That's wild, crazy. That's his dick. I don't watch it for that. But it's his dick. But I do like you the want, way you want, like the way he talks. Wesley Pipes. He's saying I get some of my shit so from Wesley Pipes. On. I get some of my shit from Wesley Pipes. Listen to him turns you on. It Not you turn me on, but it, it gives me ideas. Like I copyright some. I plagiarize some of shit. I ain't so gonna stop front. it. Nah, bro. So you're not taking notes. You jerking not, your dick? What? No. You're jerking your dick. You're not taking notes. My nigga's talking. You're jerking Wesley your dick. Wesley Pipes got this one line <laughs> where he be like, "Damn, Naked bitch, nasty. I'm not oh. sure if that's your pussy or your mouth." <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? They got taking notes. Yo, but yeah, I got niggas that I watch. I'm gonna play a video. Who don't like T that turned me the fuck on, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna keep it real with you. I think it's because I was like, nah. All right. Somebody just sent me a wild video. That's crazy. Oh, Damn. Shorty. That's Most nuts. Here. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you, you help me through this. Well, now, I'm saying this, not saying I want, but I'm attracted to the way she would take this. I get that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I don't want. You attracted to the way he killing her shit. I want to see what she's yeah. doing with this. Okay. Is the attraction? It's not him. The fact you that she me? can handle that. Boom. Yeah. I get what you mean. Melly, turn <clears throat> on the. Uh, can you turn the sound on? I'm gonna turn the video so that Melly and our list, our company can see this. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Is it going? No. Come on now. Don't embarrass me. Oh, yeah. There oh. Damn. There we go. Okay, what's up? Oh, Isn't that fire? Is it fire or not? Is it her or him? Look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be by curious for a minute. Is it no, no, we're not by curious. I'm not curious. You know, here's what I will say, right? Here's what I will say. I will, so I have I'll a visual. This in the Discord right now. So what we see here, I see a nice little cute petite lady mm -hmm. on her knees 
devouring. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, that that was dick. <laughs> like that was some shit. Like he backed that shit. He backed out some shit. I ain't gonna front. You feel That's me? all I'm saying. But you know what? Yo, fuck, fuck all of that. Listen, fuck, fuck that. I'm gonna keep it real gangster. Yo, at the end of the day, nigga, I wake up in the morning, I look myself in the mirror, and I brush my teeth. I know I like box. Always only liked box, and only would like box. So I can say that. Yo, the nigga backed out a fucking dick. He, really, he backed out some shit. Yeah. You feel me? And she's sucking that whole shit. So it's like, damn, sure you hands, can do that. She going in on this shit. It's like, yo, like, you yo. doing that. Damn. It's like a nigga in the gym doing four plates. It's like, oh, he benching four plates. Yeah. She I wish he, it's sucking. not I wish he would bench me. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> you know? But yeah, she she definitely I see what you're saying. She definitely look, sucking look some shit. Look, look, look. They in the they in that the joints nice. going impressive. That's nice. That was nice. They looking at it. You know that what I'm saying? Nice. Because they can see in the chat mm-hmm. what's going on here. Facts. That was some shit though. I ain't gonna front. I got another video and I know you said you got one. Mm-hmm. Can you mind? I'm going to do one more. Go ahead. I actually got two. This more. is our 106 and Dark segment, by the way, guys. We forgot to announce it. This is our new segment that we're now incorporating. It's called 106 and Dark, where we take some videos that we found online. You guys also do a very good job of sending me and him videos all fucking day. I like the fact y'all just say we the horny freaky niggas. Yeah, send this shit. And we will talk about it on the show. So, let's go. Bro, what do you have that on? video was sent by <coughs> Redacted Nani. On Twitter, redacted R E D A C T E D N A N I, and she posts so many videos. Like she be going the fuck up. She is. I ain't gonna hold you. That's her in the video. That I believe so. Oh, she and I think I'm in love with her. I think she's fire, super I, fire. I ain't gonna lie. Um, she gives it the fuck up. So check out Redacted Nani on Twitter. Okay, you might have to search the name. It's at Redacted Nani, and then you got to probably press it because she's probably shadow banned. So she can probably use all of y'all following. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But shout out to her. Now, I'm going to go to another video that I just saw on here by somebody at Black Queens PAG. Black Queens PAG. PAG. Mm-hmm. Okay. My brother from another mother. Charlie, that's all I'm gonna say to this. Some shit. Yo, where's the video? Oh, it didn't. It didn't. All right, it didn't. Damn, it left. It expired. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, it didn't do the things that it was supposed to do. I'm kind. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like you told me some other. Y'all gotta see this. Y'all must see this. You got your nails done recently. No, we were supposed to go today, but we didn't have time. Um, Melly, write this down. I am super excited to let you guys see what I have prepared for you. Let me make sure that I can plug it into the Discord. Make sure that they're going to be able to see it first. Are we back? Yes, we are. We are back. Melly, 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 Mel. Mighty Mouth. The mighty Melly Mouth. Caramel is what they call her in them streets. Real nigga. Or in them sheets. You heard? Not right now. All right. We're playing it right now. I'm thinking that they got it in the Discord. I will play it once it says play in the Discord. Sending, sending, sending. And sent. Bang. Let's go. Y'all play it in the Discord and we will play it here on the Hardest Off Show. I'm so excited to let you guys see what's going on here. I see. <laughs> don't tell me that shit don't look good. Don't tell me that shit don't look good. He enjoying himself. He is wilding. Put the volume up. I can't hear He nothing. is wilding. Nah, she, she not... Oh, that pussy look amazing. What are we looking at, Loom? So what we have here is a very, very voluptuous, thick... Well, I can't see your face, but she fine from back here. Fine-ass chocolate, John. Getting drilled out. How much out. you think she weighs, bro? I ain't gonna she lie. Weighs? She gotta be at least like 250. She might be about 250, 300. 250? She there. And she getting drilled by... 
the point guard for the New York Knicks looks like. <laughs> Let me not say that because the point guard for the New York Knicks might see this. But she's definitely having sex with what seems to be a smaller man, but he's ramming her shit from the wow. back. This ain't ramming. This is ramming? Yeah, nigga. He's trying to get in there. He's you know fighting. how hard it is to get in there? He's fighting. the. There's a lot of ass back there. She, so she ain't even moving. <laughs> That's just. That's and he's just doing the, his best to just stay in that box. His little. He fucking nuts. her. He fucking Why her thigh. Is his nuts that's so tight. He fucking her back. thigh. <laughs> that's a thigh fuck. Yo. Oh yo. My God, yo so. his this shit. Why I, I, is his foot bloodshot red? His yo, cause he putting in pain, hurt. nigga. Would you hit that? I would probably hit that. Yo, she gonna be sore. I would. I can't even see what she looks like. I would hit it. I would hit it. Just from this, I'd hit it. Three hundred, right? Three hundred. I think I, I got a joint that's about. I ain't gonna lie. I had to a joint that's about. Why is she sweating? She ain't even moving. <laughs> Yo, relax, relax. This is what I envision one of our followers to to listen. I'm telling you right now. That was tough. That pussy looks. Does amazing. he have a ski mask on? I have had me some. That's his hair. I will tell y'all right now, and I would hate for the the bigger community. Was that crazy? Plus size. <sighs> the bigger community was nuts. Bigger yeah. community is crazy. The plus size community. I would hate for y'all to feel like I'm picking on y'all. Um, this is all love. The best pussy I ever had was multiple times was big bitches. When you say big, how big we talking? <clears throat> Over deuce. Over deuce ain't that bad. Over a deuce, the best pussy. The, yo, that shit be soaking. The ass be hitting you like pow. pow and plaques. then watching that shit, that should be like. <laughs> nigga. What, nigga? Son, I got a, I had a joint. She about six feet and 295. I ain't going to hold you. Her shit be tough, son. And she be sucking dick. Yo, I, See, that's the thing. See, you can't say that. Because what? they know you want them to suck. They, they you. Want them to suck. You know you want them to suck your shit. They know that. Yeah. They know that for Son. some reason that niggas think that they head is crazy. It is. But <laughs> they know. Son. Cause I, I always said that big chicks got crazy head because they, they used do. to. Eating shit. They, <laughs> they got extra enzymes. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? They got different. Some extra enzymes. Shit in their mouth that helps they to break the different. shit down. Like yeah. it's it's crazy. They got mouth stamina, nigga. They, bro, yeah. they could fit some shit in their mouth. Nigga, I seen them. I seen a big bitch bust down a foot long subway. You could bust this down. Come get this teriyaki. Melly, chicken, what? Bro. What, Melly? What are we no, saying, bro? Right? I'm. I'm, not, I'm just. This is sizest. Size. <laughs> sizest. I ain't gonna you. I love. I ain't gonna front. At this point in time in my life, I'm not gonna say I will always go out of my way. To like take one down, but I being like I was in the park today riding my bike, and I seen a joint in there, you know, getting her little two step on. I definitely with the, oh, that's that's not bad. Like I do it, I do that. Now they saying in the comments that we're bugging. Are we? This is wrong. We can't. We're not right. supposed to be able to oh talk about our experiences. Look, it is what it big is. Big so. chicks be having some pussy on them. What, what do you? What do you? What do y'all want us to say? Son, it's not. I don't. Are we being disrespectful? We don't make the rules. They be having some pussy on them. And they be having some neck on them. Sorry. And they got mad neck. The neck be like. Plus size. It's a neck. lot of neck. Plus it's a size. lot of mouth. It's a lot of neck. What do you want us to say? I be feeling so at home when I get the plus size neck, son. She looks like she could. Oh, they mad because we said she looks like she swallow a dick because she swallows a lot of food. So, you know, all right. <clears throat> what I would say is. No, it's true. <laughs> no, listen. I don't come on here to offend anybody. If, if you, you fucking. <laughs> listen, I have a chick. that head is great. Her head is great. Yeah, tough. But she be like, oh, my face hurts. Bitch. Sound like a personal problem. I ain't never had a fat chick say they face hurt. They could suck some dick. They going to suck some dick because their yeah. mouth is used to that. Yeah. So yeah. what? What y'all want me to say? Listen, I'm here for the plus size neck and the plus size box. Get over here, Lucille Roberts. I'm ready for that. I'm Let ready. me ask you a question. I had a, I had a, uh, a chick come by. Yo, how much is sh sh pussy's amazing? She's amazing. Oh my god. Okay. Amazing. Fire. Personality ain't really that dope. Regular. Is good pussy worth corny whack personality? Depends on how. So good. I can do good pussy 
and maybe bitch personality to a certain extent. Oh yeah, that's what. But I can't do good. I can't do good personality and corny personality. I don't think I could do it. It's bitch personality, but I don't really like bitch personality either. I like nice people. I mean, I don't. We talking about to be with? Like I could tolerate it. Is what I'm saying. I don't really want to share my energy with. Whack bitch, I ain't gonna whack lie. pussy. I, I wanna, like, oh, so it's not whack pussy. You're great as a pussy, but your person, we don't get along. So is what if you? She got some amazing, amazing, amazing box, but y'all don't get along. Is it worth suffering through the don't get along to get to the amazing box? Is it worth it? No, but have I done it? Yes. Would you do it now at this point in time in my life? I don't, don't know. Don't act like you changed because no, you got I'm a, a girlfriend, nigga. Please. I don't have. I'm fucking single. Stop promoting that. Yo, yo, fuck it. I got to stop talking this bullshit on this podcast. The reason why I'm having a hard time saying that I won't do it is because I did it for so long and the shit was literally so fire and she was such a bad person. I wanted to leave, but I couldn't because the shit was so tough and I was in a fucking wormhole. I feel like I was in a fucking washing machine just spinning and spinning and spinning. So it's, it was hard. It's hard for me to like, I want to co-sign with you and be like, no, but her shit was tough, bro. I can't lie. I've seen, I've experienced some, like, I, the shit was wild crazy, bro. Like, no funny shit. You ever argue, and at the, after that, she going crazy? She, you nigga. just sit there like, yo, I hate this bitch. Ah. My nigga, how, 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 about, how about I said, say sorry, she just sat on me. I said, that works. Crazy. <laughs> that work. And I took it like a bitch ass crazy. nigga. Crazy. It's not even a bitch ass nigga. The yeah. box is that good. Or women be that sexy. I remember this chick she had on um, crazy. Um, So we come home, and I said this. We came home from somewhere. We was arguing the whole time. We get in the crib and we arguing, whatever. She just start taking off her shit. As I'm, sitting, and I'm standing there, yeah, I'm just standing there like, yo, and I ain't really like when you said that, but you said this. She take off the shirt. Then she kind of squeeze out the shit. Then she lays on the bed. She she goes around the side of the bed. She faces me. She gets on her hands and knees, puts her hands and her elbows, and sticks her ass in the air and says, "You sure you don't want to talk about this later?" And what you said. And matching lingerie. And what you said. It, what what the fuck was I supposed to say? <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> I don't, you would have been I like. I was just like. I, was like I, I couldn't even believe that she understood her sexuality. That like, much. That much. Like, how you that nice? Like, how you that ill that you know you could do that to me? Bro, washed me. Yeah. Nigga, she got on hands and knees. Put her hands in both her head and both her hands and stuck her ass in the air and was like, You sure you don't want to talk about that? Facing me. I'm just looking at the ass sticking up over her shoulders behind her. I'm like, yo, fuck. Yo, son, aesthetics mean a lot. And I really you you just painted me a picture. The reason why I like certain pornos more than others is based on positioning. So when I when it's like that, when the camera's like facing them and like she facing the camera, he behind her, he just blowing her shit out. And you can see like her butt cheeks a little bit over her shoulder. Oh my god, that shit do it for me every time. Crazy, yo, crazy. Oh my god, son. So when I seen that, I Ooh. was like, um, yeah, you got me. Yo, this show be having me fucked up because it, 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 we go through so much remembering yes. old shit that we went through. So. And epiphanies. Yeah. Now you said you had a video. I have two. Right, I got another two. We still in one oh six and uh dark, huh? I have a video. One oh six and uh huh. Uh-huh, so uh-huh. let's keep I'm gonna keep it on the sexy. Hold on, I gotta keep get on, off this video though. I'm gonna huh? keep it on the sexy. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Melly's on fire. She was she be like boop boop. Yeah, she's <laughs> She just be knowing how to do this shit. I know you think you nice. You ever got some pussy? You just thought you just know you nice at some yeah, shit. Like you just you just, just washing that pussy. You like she just mm-hmm. like ah. You just yeah, like, I know my that, shit fire. You turn to the side. Wait, you give chick side dick in the morning time because I don't like morning breath. No, 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 no. I'm talking about she's laying this way and you turn your body like a fucking oh, yeah. plus sign and Facts. you going into the side. Yeah, because you like, hitting ah, a whole different ah. angle, bro. Yeah, why does she not? Hey, right, where do your hands be when you go inside? On my bed. Oh, so you just position like yourself. push up, like push up. Why well, always have a hard time getting on this TV? Are you still on this shit? No, nah, I ain't. I ain't uh-uh. Um, you should just send it to me. Yeah, I can do that. So here, me. boom, right? All right, yeah. New, just... new fire. Oh yeah, I'm a new position. You know what? I'm gonna save this for just a tip. I'm gonna save like, this for just a tip. Not you getting your just a tip from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna save. I this just for sent just it to a tip. you. Yo. 
If you're listening right now, please wait to the end of the show. My just a tip for men and men alone because women already know this trick. So men, although a lot of y'all do know this shit, understand that a lot of y'all don't. Wait to see me at the just a tip. All right, Loom just sent me the video. Fast forward that video to four minutes and 30 seconds. Yo, I can't, bro. You, We can't. You can't. Why you can't? Can you do this? Yeah. Just click it. All right, let me see. And you have to add, of course. <laughs> what the yeah, hell? Yeah, my points be having ads and shit. I'm what trying to I mean, trying to get around that. Of course. I'm trying to get around that. All right. Let's fast forward to four minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, boy. It said fast forward to four minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. All right, right here. Y'all ready? Melly, we ready? Four minutes and 30 seconds loaded. Did you put the clip into the Discord? No, I didn't do that. Put the clip into the Discord so that they can watch (coughs) it at the same time. Y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. New episode. Should I put it? Which damn? There's so many cats. I'm putting. It's on. New I, see, I see. I see. I got it. a new episode folder. Yo, I know how to navigate through they Discord. The All right, folder. y'all. Bang. Demon dick holders. All right, send it. Send a Discord. I feel like I got some great dick. I don't know if I got demon dick. Do I got demon dick? No. Don't just say it because we're here. Can you play the video? Look, you so it's fucked up. The font sweat. What, yo, what oh. is demon dick? King. Play the video. Play the video. All right. This motherfucker, son. Just want to know. Fast forward to four minutes and right, thirty seconds. Four minutes and thirty seconds, and right there, there we, we are here. Yeah, there we go. Look at All her right. face, son. He's Look eating at- the box. He's grabbing the titty. <laughs> on the pussy. So he this is the called. Box. Oh, he spit on it. This is called the head doctor. The head doctor. Mm-hmm. Suck Do your- women like this though? Do women like all this? You'll see. Look at her face. You can't fake this. But what is he doing? It's, he's focusing on the clip. But we're doing what, Melly? He's sucking. He's sucking the clip. Like he's. Because anytime niggas put people put their mouth on it, I can't see what the tongue is doing. It's what like, is they doing? Cause you know, like a, imagine a lollipop. See her and like face? you just, like you holding it, like you, you didn't just even see the part that I like to. Use. Sucking she, it. She does this thing with like, her mouth. Oh, that bro, you you see that right there? Okay. What is happening? She so she's squirted. Okay. I think, right? So you can pause it now. So that was my porn selection for this week. I put it in the Discord. It is called... The Head Doctor. Lucky the Head Doctor. Mm-hmm. So now... <clears throat> you need to get off. I think you're... I be watching porn. I feel like now that like I've been on, now I've been on the show for like a little while, I, I got my that. feet in the sexy game. I'll be watching porn from like a whole different lens now. So like I'll be like really copying shit to like put in my arsenal. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to like, you know, maximize my sex bag. And I could tell from the looks on her faces, the way her body was reacting, she almost broke her fucking neck because she wanted a nigga to stop. What he did was he weaponized her pleasure against her. So I feel like that That's was him, not me. What do you mean? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. You got to get up off oh, to sorry, what's the name joint. Sorry. sorry, y'all. He weaponized I'm, I'm, not, I'm not on it. I'm not on it. Something. Just up scroll or something until you get the fuck out of everything. All right. I don't know, Melly. Yeah, I'm not on it. It's it's his phone. That's what happened last time when I was trying to. So how the know. fuck does he get off this shit? I turn off my Bluetooth. I'm really. All right. Okay, we got We're back. Yo, he weaponized like her pleasure like against her. But what did he do? So pretty much, yo, eating right. pussy is like an art, my nigga. Where's the pussy at? I'm not. You're not sucking that pussy. No, I'm not sucking that pussy. Ain't no way put their dick on that pussy. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not eating. I'm not eating. I want to know I'm when a nigga box. puts the mouth on the box. What goes on in the mouth? So for starters, when you do that shit, there's no air coming into that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's almost like you got the pussy in jail. Mm-hmm. And me, I can't speak for you everybody. Localize the pussy. You isolate it. Isolate it. So me personally, I can't speak for everybody, but for me, eating pussy kind of like an art. It's like abstract. You ever seen a nigga like take a blank canvas and he just start like doing shit? So I be in the pussy with like no play. I just be running shit. Like I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And I freestyle. 
Sometimes I spit. Sometimes I, I suck my spit off the shit and I do it over and over again. So it's almost like a rose toy motion. You know what I'm saying? I really be down there giving it. I was looking at the nigga what? too intense. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, you feel me? So like sometimes I, I, I put a finger in there, like in the actual vagina while I'm fucking with the mm-hmm. clit, double mm-hmm. stimulation. I got my left hand on the titty. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, But all what did he shit. do to make her squirt just now? I, I can't see. His mouth was like, he was like this. I can't see what he did. He, I think. I can't see I what I think he did. what was happening was that he literally just had the clit in his mouth. Like literally only that part. Mm. And probably was like sucking it, I think. Like like a lollipop. I'm going to keep it real with you, y'all. I, I used the it. rose, right? So Goddess Ruth sent me the rose. It's like a rose. The rose has this little hole on it. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. Mm-hmm. It's very difficult to get that little, that rose as a man onto the one spot where the suction does what it's supposed to do. It's a very I know little mean. hole. So it's like this big, bro. So how that. do I find the one spot where that shit can get it, mm-hmm. right? But I'm assuming that it's the same thing with your mouth. You got to figure out that little one spot in order to do that suction move or it's not working. Has a person ever sucked the wrong spot? Wait, what's the question? <laughs> Has a person ever not sucked the right? Like, can you, like, do you have to actually do the same thing as, like, you gotta? I I, I can't <clears throat> answer that because I, because he always had the right spot. But oh, all right now, I, Ooh, I don't. That's why I you ain't fuck with nobody since. Yo, Just imagine the dick was so fire. You've been dickless for like a decade. Damn, I've seen it. You ain't seen that. I've I've seen it. You've seen it. Chicks, chicks be stuck, yo. Chicks really, yo. Do you want chicks, a dick that good? You want a dick like that? I mean, hey, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> Point to me. It is what it is. But um, yeah. Uh, uh, I want to know. I wish. Yo, I don't know. Would you? I, I think we spoke about this. Would you rather have good dick or good head? Say that again. Would I rather have good dick or give good head? Or yeah, mm-hmm. I rather great dick. You rather have great dick? Mm-hmm. Melly, would you rather a guy have great dick or great head? We've had this conversation before. Explain what's good dick. I said great. Great dick. You explained it. How the fuck am I supposed to explain it? That's subjective. Well, Girl. <laughs> she really Maurice, did body. Don't she you have great dick? Have real. you ever had great dick? Yeah, of course. All right, so you explained it. I've never had great dick. What the fuck you want me to say? But don't you give great... I'm saying because you give... Don't you give, give great dick? So, like, what do you do? Like, I, what? That's, up, that's, uh, that's, subjective. that's subjective to the person. She would have to say what's great about it. I'm literally just doing motions. I don't know. Because I don't know what whack dick is. Definitely don't know what that is. <laughs> I know for a fact I don't know what that is. <laughs> you dig? <laughs> so you tell me. Think about the best dick you ever had. Think Nelly. about the best head you ever had. because she's remembering. She hasn't had it in a while. Jesus. Oh, my Nigga, God. Nigga, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Bro, the 80s wasn't that no, long No, because it's, it's hard because like, I need both. Like You're I can't greedy. just have one because I love head. Like I have to have the head. Mm. And it has to be great head because mm. it's like the, that's the foreplay for me. And then the dick finishes off. So like. I need to have both. I can't just pick one. I, I don't know how it's... I honestly can't pick one. Mm. I don't know. It's a 50-50 split in the chat. Would too. you rather have great pussy or great head? Yo, son. I'm going to say great pussy, but yo, great head take you to spaces that All you... All right, what's medium great pussy? What's, what's medium pussy like? What the fuck is medium great? So what's medium pussy like? Medium pussy is feasible. It's like girlfriend pussy. Don't do that. <laughs> Niggas really the new bitch. Yo, son. Niggas yeah. love taking their turns. I'm going with girlfriend nah. pussy. What is medium pussy? Girlfriend pussy is. <laughs> nah, yeah, what's girlfriend pussy? Girlfriend pussy is bad funny. But now, nah, uh, I guess. So pussy, uh, pussy has levels to me. Mm-hmm. So pretty much mid pussy to me or cool, cool box is anywhere from like a seven and a half to like a shit. 
I'm about to say seven and a half to like an eight, but eight is pretty good. I ain't go front. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's the box that gets the job done. Like, I don't mind it. Like, it's, it's the cool. job. Don't mind it's I don't cool. want no don't mind it pussy. That's, I don't want that shit other. I don't. I don't I, want yo, literally, other. you could take that shit and go. <laughs> like, I'll be don't single. Don't mind it pussy is yeah. almost like I ain't got nothing better to do. Yeah, pussy. something to do and there's nothing to nah, do. Nah, I want yeah. some pussy that when it get down on my shit, I'm looking at that shit like, yo. Dude, what was that? I'm the greatest. Like. Or I'm blessed. My life. Yes, I'm, I'm blessed. blessed. Like, my life could never be better. Like. Sometimes you look at a chick riding and shit, you just looking like, you just like, yo, what did I do? You know, fucking, what did I do to deserve, deserve this? this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. yo, it's I mean, really, it's literally like prayer. Pussy be like church. Like, it's like. Yo, pussy, that's a title? Pussy be ten, like church. It's 10 Hail Marys. I'm going to keep it 100. And I need that. And I can't be in a relationship without that. Like, I, I need, need that box. Pussy be like 10 planes crash. It's like. Like, I ain't going to hold you. I need the box that. Yo, once in the blue, you get boxed, and when you leave the club, you think about your shorty and not even other bitches. Like, I need that. Like, I can't wait to get home and slide in that. I ain't never had no, no shit like that. I'm going <laughs> to see what that be like. <laughs> I'm trying I to hit that from the back. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Um, Facts. Because I love new experiences. I think the experience, I'm going to go the experience over the good box. Like, that's almost like saying new pussy or great pussy. Yeah. I'm gonna go with new pussy every time because I want to see what the new pussy be like. I would say that too, but some pus- some moments you just you're not even thinking about finding something better. You just don't want it to end. You just want to replay that shit over and over and over and over. Son. Do you think there's people out there that literally live for new experiences? It's most niggas. Oh, I mean, so then why would you get in a relationship if you're living for new experiences? That's a good question to ask people who get in relationships and swimming for new experiences. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, that was my family. No, I agree with you. I 1,000% agree with you. But most niggas wind up getting in relationships. I think niggas are dumb. Mm-hmm. I agree. Niggas yeah. are dumb. Yeah, niggas are but dumb. But the thing is, what is it about the new experience that trumps great pussy? Like and a, I think that women mm-hmm. would love to know this <clears throat> answer. So what do you think it is? It's the possibility or so like you remember when you said before like niggas are shallow, mm-hmm. you know, for the most part, like we'll date you, you know, looks, fat ass, that and the third. Women more so fuck with you like for your vibe, your energy, the or like the, the situation that you present around her. Not necessarily like financially, but just like how she feel when she with you. Mm-hmm. As a nigga, we I ain't gonna front. You know, a lot of our gauges are aimed at yo, box be fire, she suck dick. You know, like we Visual, kinda, audio. We're very, very like sexually driven Mm -hmm. and i will say that niggas do have a tendency of getting a rush of blood or maybe a fucking what's what i'm looking for i guess a rush not a rush of blood but like a rush to like yo an opportunity for some better box like damn my bitch bad but shit she might be a little better like my bitch box tough but no i think her shit is fire i'm I'm disagreeing with you again that's how i feel i agree with what you said i agree with what you think the cause of it is mm-hmm. I still think it's ego nah I, don't I think, think that ego. the reason we do most things like head pulling hair slapping ass getting another chick bagging a new chick chasing new pussy over great pussy it's all because it makes us feel like that nigga I think that most times men want to feel like conquerors we want to feel like we are imperial and it goes, I feel like that trumps the feeling of being happy in a relationship. Your ego always needs to be boosted. Your ego always needs to be fed. And so you do all of these things. That's why you like chick giving you head. You sit there and you stand there and you look at her like this while she giving you head because you feel like they're fucking dawn while she the giving dawn. you head. You know what I'm saying? You smoking a cigar, a blunt, <laughs> and you just looking at her like, wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And even when you do something to her, it's almost like, yeah, I'm going to give yourself, I'm going to give myself to you because I'm that nigga. But it's literally all ego driven. Do you think the e- do you think that situation is enhanced if she got a nigga? Of course. Everything we do is based off ego to me. Mm-hmm. I think sex for men is more based off ego. Um, so you I can't you know what? Maybe that's a conversation I should start having with some of my friends. I'm speaking primarily for me. And I'll be honest, bro, 
I would love that. I would love for you to have. Yeah, that like I need to start having honest conversations with my friends. But niggas would have to know themselves, and they would because niggas, niggas that don't. don't have emotional intelligence mm-hmm. is not gonna be able to admit like, yeah, nah, yeah, it make me feel like that nigga. I do a lot of this because I feel like that nigga. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I promise you, for me, that might have been the case sometimes, but I was just horny a lot. So I see a chick in the club, I'm like, fuck this bitch, bad son. My dick getting hard off rip, and it's like, yo, why is she so fire? Let me go say something. You feel me, like. I ain't going front. For me, I was just really some freaky, horny nigga. What? No, I was saying, I was telling him to read a message. Oh. Which message? Um, you Ari. read it. Yeah. You read it. Miss Info? Oh, you read it. It's but yeah, so maybe maybe you all right. And oh, maybe the one that says the new it. girl? The new girl is somebody. Doing somebody commented in the Discord. Melly doesn't want to read the shit. The new girl is doing things, things that your girl isn't because your girl is comfortable with you now and doesn't always do the extra that a new girl would do the new... Would do. Nah. The new girl is trying to impress you. That's not nah, always true. that's not true at all. Sometimes, yo, listen. What a lot of times when niggas cheat don't have nothing to do with anything you're lacking. It has sometimes. I don't got nothing to do with you sometimes, yo, bro. Yo, facts. It really don't. I just think this bitch is bad, and I'm just gonna go this way for a second. Just want to have this experience. Yeah, it don't, it don't got have nothing to do nothing with you. To do with how nothing. dope you are, how much money you got. It don't have nothing to do with the fact that if I cheat on you, I literally will lose my crib. My car is in your name. <laughs> All my money is in your bank account. Yo, like, you yo, it's literally like, I'm not trying to disrespect you, but shorty right here, I want to see what that be like. like. I'm trying to yeah. see what that be like, and yeah. I'm not trying to be with shorty. The problem is, is that niggas is not communicative enough. The fact that we're not emotionally intelligent and the fact that we're not as good as, with words as women are as good with, with their words, it really sh- shoots us in the foot. Because if we were able to express certain shit, another thing is we would have to fucking accept the fact that they do the same shit. The minute we say what we like, we got to listen to what they like or yeah. what they want to do outside of the crib. And we're not ready for that. You know what I just seen in my head? I just seen a world for one day where every nigga kept it 100 and every chick kept it 100. What you think that would look destroy, like? We would, we, would, we would burn. We would burn yeah. shit down. Mm-hmm. It would be, it would, that'll be our last day. Jesus Wait, would come that you day. Think- yeah, for sure. That that's a bad. You think that's a bad thing? I think that most men cannot handle what they asking for. Yeah, we can't. Mm. Men want to be put up on a pedestal. Yep. And we want the women to say shit like, "I am good with just fucking chicks, mm-hmm. as long as you're my only nigga, and I'm cool with you fucking chicks, and it doesn't bother me." Like we want that. That's what niggas. That's what every nigga we, want. We want that. He just don't know how to say it though. Like, every nigga wants that. You feel me? They just we, don't know how to say it. The reality is that once most men say, "Hey, I want to fuck with other chicks," most chicks is gonna say, "I want to fuck with other niggas." But then, and we're not good with that. But you know we're what? We're terrified of that. It's literally the one thing that doesn't make you want to be in a relationship. But then you sitting here thinking, oh, is she saying that because I created the zone for her to be mm-hmm. comfortable to finally admit that, Some or are you just being a petty bitch? And you just want to get me tight. Like, that's the shit that I struggle with. Like, what are you doing? Is this really how you feel? Because when I ask you this, you know, I'm going to stop. Yeah. Let me stop. You're doing that. Yeah, you're doing being petty. I'm Why are you being petty? What's wrong I with stopped. You? Relax. You're not even drinking. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, this girl did nothing to this nigga, bro. Yo, what are you talking <laughs> about, nigga? It's about that video. about my next video. That's what it's about. I'm going to send it to you. You want to play my next video? Speaking of... Jesus, Lord of mercy. Yo, she gonna curse you out when she sees you. I don't know if I'm not pussy. Speak, send your next video to me. Oh, my Lord. Can we edit that out? Uh, No, because I think that is is, is true. Um, Somebody says in the video, yeah, I've learned I had the best pussy my ex ever had and he never made me come. Yeah, he cheated all the time just because he wanted to fuck other people. What does one have to do with the others? Is he wanted pussy like he could handle, ma. That ain't his fault. That's your fault. It's your lit ass box. I believe... So how- the best conversations in this community happen amongst people that can have that conversation. This is what I really want. I still want to be loyal to you. I just want you to be comfortable with it. And the other person saying, hey, this is what I really want. I want to be loyal to you. But these are the things that I want. And I don't think that most people have... the capacity to even get that off i want to say space there's another word like balls <laughs> balls um you know there there isn't a, a 
you want to say space, it's like, yo, can you really say that to somebody? Can you really say, yo, I want to fuck other bitches, but I, I love you, <laughs> but I want to fuck other bitches. All like, right, Jody. What? You know what I'm saying? Okay, Jody. And can a woman <clears throat> say that? Hey, I love you, but I want to have other sexual experiences that don't revolve around you. Would you respect that? Well, how would you feel if a girl... I Keep personally think that it's, I think that if you go into a situation with a woman and she says, hey, this is what I'm looking for, and your desire for her is still, it isn't based on ownership. Like, once you're in it with somebody, you already feel... In routine. Like, why are we changing? Yeah. Like, yeah, you're you changing you're, the rules. What are you like, talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I signed but up for. if you're going into it like that and mm-hmm. y'all fall for each other like that, it's a different conversation. And I don't think that women, I think women control that conversation. I had a shorty that I was fucking with. If she would have had that conversation with me, I probably, I'm not going to say we would have still been fucking around, but we probably wouldn't have ended how we ended. You feel me? And you know, I ain't going to lie. When you say some of these things that you say on this podcast, it really sometimes makes me like, I don't want to say that. depressed, yeah. but I'd be like, damn, son, this girl tried to have this kind of conversation with me years ago. Yeah. And I just wasn't even nowhere in the space to identify what she was trying to do. Well, you wasn't comfortable enough. I, I don't involved. think I, I don't think I was smart. I don't think I was smart enough or experience. I don't think I was experienced enough. And I'd be saying like, "Damn, son! Like, I wish I could go back and pre- have my present mind then to even have certain kind of conversations with her." You know what I'm saying? Shout outs to her though. She was. I will say she was definitely. I believe that enemy. women control the key to free sexuality or, or sexual experiences because what if a woman says, "Yo, I want to see you fuck other bitches." I want my nigga to be able to do what he want to do and I want to be waiting at home while and cook food for him and rub his feet and I want to have certain com- communicate um, conversations with him about what his day was like. I just want to be his chick that allows him to do whatever he wants to do. A nigga be like, all right. Right? Yeah. He can't say that to her though. No. She got to say But then the at the same time is <clears throat> if, if you start trying to talk to a chick and she says, I, you know, I, I like fucking with this guy and I want to fuck with you too. Right now? What if she says that? Chick that you really want to fuck with. You ain't getting no pussy yet. But she's like, yo, I have a guy that I fuck with, but I want to fuck with you too. I'm going to fuck with her. On what level? What do you mean on what level? What if you start liking her? Would you still continue to like her? Do she like me too? Yeah. Yeah, we like each other. Even though she got a nigga? Yeah. You cool? For right now, yeah. What if she says it after y'all been fucking with each other? I been. What if you're the first guy and she comes to you and says, "Hey, there's another guy I want to like that I like. I want to fuck with him. I still like you. I like you, but I just want to have an experience with him." You know what you should do? You should play that video I just sent you. All right. That's what you should do. We're gonna play a new video. This nigga loon. This is fucking. What you should do? I like how I did that. Y- y- y'all see? Y'all about to We're see not what sure I just did? What you just did? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. No funny shot. I thought you produced this video yourself. This is Instagram. How do I stream a video from Instagram? Just click it. You can't stream a video from Instagram. So I'll screen record it and send it to you. Yeah. Sorry. The screen. The, I already know what this is. You know what it is? Yeah. You seen it? I've been in this situation. But go ahead. Screen record the shit. Um, Melly, write this down. I'll take it out next week. This is going to be a lot of editing. All right, Loon just sent us this video, which apparently um, relates to what we're talking about right now. Let's see. Let's <laughs> see. That's an official movie. I ain't going front. Yo, you have to watch this movie, Loon. Oh, my boyfriend. You got a boyfriend? Fiance, actually. What are we seeing? Hold on, what are we seeing right now? So right now you're seeing a young man and a young lady who are laying in bed. It looks like post-sex conversation. They just had sex. They're both sweaty. Glistening and shit. She's fire, by the way. She's tough. Yeah, oh she's my super God. fire. He cool. We love her. By the way, this cool. is the movie that I suggested to you. I didn't know. The Watch. It's called The Three-Way or something like that. It's on Hulu. I'm going to watch about- it. Look at you in the likes. <laughs> is it me? That's you in the likes. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, this is a, about a threesome that happened from three different perspectives, both women's perspectives and the man's perspective. So they tell the story over and over again from mm-hmm. each person's perspective. This is fire. But, but let's go, <clears throat> let's see what happens. So, so hold up, so what's happening? 
So now she is just sprung on him that not only is she in a relationship, she has a fiance. Mm-hmm. And that he's like, with. that she lives with. And he's like, fiance? And, and she's she goes, in her house. He yeah. has her in her house. Their house. No, she has him in her house. Their, Their house. house. Yeah. And now he just hears a male's voice creeps up. And he is now face to face with that male voice. Yes. Oh, um, Tony. This is Justin. Justin, this is my fiance, Tony. Hey, nice to meet you. What's up, man? <laughs> Can I get you guys anything? Water, juice, peanut M and M's. Peanut M and M's is crazy. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna go get dinner started. You should stay. You should stay. Yeah. It's fire. Nah, that's not fire. You should stay. It like he want to eat that. Look at you. I, I love this movie. It was so real. It's so funny. This is Yo. literally the same exact situation mm-hmm. that I had with the threesome mm-hmm. with fucking shorty in front of her man. Except her man was not open to the massage. Like, it's, it's literally the same kind of thing. Oh, I but like, that's what the same he said. It's kind of the same thing because he was standing behind me in the doorway, the same way homeboy was. <laughs> Except homeboy was way more inviting. Homeboy was like, "Yeah, fuck my chick. You want fuck something her. to drink? You need anything?" Where homeboy was like, "Get the, get the fuck, fuck out of here. If you don't hurry up and fucking get the fuck out, yo, son." But you see the part that I what I got from this though. When he said, yeah, you should stay, and they looked at each other and looked at him, it looked as if, like, they want to fuck him. No. Bro, I'm te- look how he looked at the nigga and said, you should stay. And then look how he looked at his wife and look at how the wife and him looked at the nigga. It looks like he was about to be dinner. Look, yeah, like right there. Look. Yeah. No, it was confirmation. Good. I'm going to go get it done, Stop. Look. You should stay. Yeah. I'm telling you, it look like they want to fuck him. Yeah, that's what, that's what that's it, it looks like. like. He said, yeah. All right, so this is the thing. And I understand what you're saying now, and I understand, Melly, why you think that. Could be wrong. Um, but I think that a lot of times, as the unicorn or as the third person, you're entering into energy that you didn't know. Oh, no. With this type of situation, he's finding out he's the unicorn. So he does not realize they baited him into this type of situation. So the energy that y'all are perceiving is them saying, yo, we want you here. Versus him feeling like he's an imposter. That was purposely done. So I could be wrong. You are a lot more savvy in this realm than me. But when Miss Bliss was here, what she explained to us, if I'm not mistaken, a unicorn is usually bisexual. So if he's the nah, unicorn in this so. situation, it looks like they bought the unicorn. I'm I do just not saying that. that's what she said. I don't know. Maybe I could maybe, be wrong. Maybe maybe, but I think in this situation he's the third, and they they have actively because I watched this movie and you didn't. Mm-hmm. They as a couple have have been searching for for somebody that will satisfy her, uh, not him. He's not sad. Okay. And he actually pulls up later in the movie to help this guy satisfy his lady he's like yo i need you to fuck her i need you to be on point so they do this whole thing to make sure that he can fuck her well and so it has nothing to do with their interaction what you're seeing is this couple what are they saying set up a situation where she can have another dick that's what and so that look was like, yo, yeah, I'm I'm yeah, I'm here for this. She I bad. want you to fuck my she, bitch. She bad though. And I want you to fuck my bitch in front of me. And I want you to feel comfortable with it. I'll roll up a blunt for you, I'm gonna go get you some food, whatever you need. I want you to fuck my bitch for me. And there are niggas out there that will do that. By the way, if y'all are out there that do that, I'm here for it. Shout me out. My name is at Tahoe <laughs> underscore TV. I'm looking for that type of experience. The one that I tried didn't work. But I was ready. I yeah. was ready for it. So whatever. Yeah, I like hot wife type situations. Me too. That is definitely a hot wife yeah, type. She's not sure fire. What's her, what, what is her name? She is fire. Yeah, you can you can find Damn. her. Um, maybe typical unicorns do typically have sex with both parties, but that isn't what I saw from this clip. Okay, I think I found ready it. to start the show. Yeah, we're an hour and a half in, something like that. Maybe an hour and twenty minutes. Hour and twenty something minutes, right, Millie? About an hour twenty. Twenty something. 
Hour and 20-something minutes in. Yes, sir. We have not introduced this goddamn podcast. We have not spoken about our live show or our trip to the Dominican DR. Republic. Let's do it now. <laughs> this is the Hard or Soft show. We welcome everybody out there. This is a show where we talk about things that men like in the bedroom and things that men don't like in the bedroom. The, thing that, the things that make us hard... Son, are you a sign? Are you in sign language? <laughs> 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 All the things that make us soft. My name is Tahu TV. I am here with my co-host, King Loon the First. Don't say it. Shut the fuck AKA up. AKA Doctor gonna... Togo. <laughs> AKA, AKA, AKA Melly, I'm talking. AKA Drew Clinton, because I've been stopping and frisking bitches since the 90s. Yo, this is really what you do every week. <laughs> <laughs> Just embrace. Every, no. every week he tries no. to go into this. No. Like, I'm what Drew, are you talking I'm about? Drew Clinton, bro. That's what I'm doing. Okay, you could be that too. I forgot but my no. aliases. I forgot my aliases. You always what are my aliases? Something Mal- Malcolm um, Dick Flair, oh, Malcolm no, no, no. Sex, Malcolm Pop Sex, Strokes. AKA Pop Stroke. AKA, AKA Dick Flair. Dick Flair. A.K. Woo! <laughs> Why he did Because I like forgot. I almost forgot. <laughs> Why he look like a raven? Like, <laughs> I'm crying. Because I forgot. Yo, why was he so late with the woo? Because I forgot. I mean, I, I'm supposed to do something here. Oh, yeah, shit. Woo. <laughs> you feel me? Who said the porcelain poppy? What is that? Porcelain. English. Please. The porcelain poppy. I have fuck no is porcelain that? sex toys. The fuck is that? I'm currently oh, in the... Uh, Chat. Discord. I'm in the I'm in the process of molding my penis. Oh. I want to see you know if I can get that out to you, ladies. Didn't say anything. You good? I'm straight. You see, you see the uh, the little miniature me that I have. Yeah. I want to see if they could do it for me. Yo, bro. <laughs> coming for a toy and coming for a dick is wild crazy. Yeah. It's like, like, yeah. Right, we can scan you. We gotta scan your dick. Yeah, yeah, what I the fuck? Get the fuck out. Cameras getting every angle of this motherfucker. Jesus Christ. You gonna wax it first? I'm not gonna lie. I'm very excited to um, get the, the 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 mold of my penis. I, I would love to fuck my chicks with them. What if I get two? Double penetration. The triple. Triple. Suck on triple. one. One bang, 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 and I'm double fisting the other. And you're not, you not even really fucking up. You're just saying playing the drums. Just one band, one sound. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fire. I got a lot of other creative ideas going on. You guys will find out very soon at the two live shows that we have planned. One is a trip to Dominican Republic that we are doing with the Enchantress and the Limitless Lux organization. Um, that is happening February 1st through the 5th. Now, I often wonder, like, damn, how do you ladies plan so many trips in a year? It's because y'all do so much shit in advance. I guess y'all buy tickets and y'all pay it off, pay it off, pay it off. But we're giving you the opportunity to do that right now with us and go into the D- to DR and Temptations Resort, it's a topless resort, with us. Um, February 1st to the 5th. Now, all you have to do is put down a deposit. You pay off the rest throughout the months. But you're going out there with a sex-positive community. Black people, people like-minded, just like you, that want to have fun. We're doing parties every night. We're doing parties every day. We got, it's all-inclusive. We have, I'm telling you right now, I'm probably renting a yacht. So imagine the type of shit that's going on on the fucking yacht. Jesus um, Christ. We have... What do you call it? Um, exhibitions and classes that are being done by Goddess Rue, the Enchantress, and several other sex on, sex workers. Yo, this is literally going to be probably one of the best trips ever. I've done this shit with just me and my ex. Shout out to her. She still listens. She's like, hey, stop calling me your ex. Stop calling me your ex. You my nigga. I'm your nigga. You still my nigga. Shut up. I didn't say anything. You still my nigga. Shout what out to fuck? you. Um, but she's like, yo, I want to come. I'm like, you can't come because now you're going to police everybody away from this dick. This dick needs to be unpoliced. Unstricted. Running wild. Somebody stop me. <laughs> no, an episode of Mask. We uh, will be having a lot of things going on. Think about different levels of play parties every fucking night after you're relaxing all day. 
eating whatever you want all day around many motherfucking people um all fucking day yes look in the chat right now deposit paid flight purchase purchase vip ticket for the live show purchase nigga the type of shit that we trying to do is unprecedented a lot of people go to these places but they not really like and shout out to them this is no shade to nobody else but they're not putting on for your pleasure like this like to the point where every night you can either choose to go on a beach and chill with your partner by yourself or choose to go in a pool by yourself every night or you can go up to a play party orchestrated by us in another country with a community of that's like-minded just like you that does the same shit you do god damn. you know what i'm saying like we'll not only have one room though there's gonna be several play parties every fucking night bdsm centered sensuality centered yo child. so i want to add on you ever real you ever like oh my god you ever been having sex with somebody in new york i can't even wait till next year and and i don't even want to get older but but i don't care you ever been having sex with somebody in new york and y'all go on vacation and sex just get litter imagine not a vacation but a bay play party what nigga a play party out out the country out in dr nigga what and there's another one tomorrow so you might just you might just watch tonight yeah you might not want to do nothing but Listen, you're out there for mad nights. Everything is and better. Another one the next night. Yo, everything is better on vacation. I'm and then you're you. getting to know people during the day. Like, so it's not even like you're just like just out there isolated. Th- throughout the day, we're all together. Yes, bro. And we're drinking. It's free liquor all day. When do you not have your titties out? I'm confused. <laughs> shout out. To shout out to the. To the you, to knew, you knew who it shout was. Out to said shout out to those titties. Listen, you be, you be on vacation doing shit you never do. Wait up. Wait up. The environment it says that. The environment is for that. This is what they do there. You're not going to be the only person out there titties out. You're not going to be the only person out there making out, meeting new people. That's what the environment is. But you're going to be around people just like you. Man. Oh Listen, yo, man. do some new shit, bro. Go on vacation. Do some shit you never did. Nigga, I'm trying to get a bacon, egg, what and cheese. I don't give a fuck about. if I'm a vegan. Bring me that shit, nigga. What? What the fuck is you talking about? I'm just saying, like, try to do some things you don't normally bro. do. <laughs> Why did so, you know you vegan? Why you don't bacon eat, niggas? Because you vegan. Vegans don't eat bacon. So why would they want to eat pork? Because you're just doing some. You know you you feeling the vibe. Yo, bring that pork. That pork over here. You you good with pork? I personally don't eat pork. White people. Yeah, it's, it's not for me. So why would you tell a vegan to eat pork? I ain't, I didn't tell them to do you're it. Trying to sell some shit right now. You know that's not a good selling point. That was crazy. I'm, I apologize, Doctor Sebi. That was crazy. Easy. Doctor said you rolling in his grave like this nigga. You could go to our website, www.thehardorsoftshow.com, click events, and you can get access to the link for our trip to DR with the Enchantress and Limitless Lux, or you can get access to our live show here in Brooklyn, New York, December 2nd. Woo! Is it Dick Flair? Was it different woo? <laughs> that was a pop smoke. A woo, I guess. I don't know. That was gay woo. <laughs> woo. <laughs> woo. 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 Yeah, you woo. 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 <laughs> December 2nd, we will be having our live show here in New York, um, followed by the after party, Kinks or Drinks. And I'm telling you right now, Kinks and Drinks. Okay, thank you, Melly. Thank you, man. Um, we're trying to make this the wildest night ever. Okay, now you're gonna watch us record our live show. We have a special guest. We're flying in that you don't. Oh you, shit! We don't even want to do all that yet. You know what I'm saying? But what we have planned, what I have planned. Don't forget, I was there for the first live show. I remember the squirt contest. I remember the BDSM things on stage. I'm trying to up it. Up it. I want you to be like, yo. What the you fuck know, is every, that? You know, you go to live shows and you see the people talking and it's fun because you're there amongst your people, you know, the people that you watch all the time. But what if they have like an interactive experience in front of you that you're able to join? We have a threesome on seeing, stage? No. Damn. God no, damn it. It's not going to be vulgar. It's okay. going to be fun. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be vulgar. It's, it's fun for be me. Fun. You want to join a threesome? You sure you can do that? Well, I can't do that. I don't know if I can have a threesome in front of 200 people. I would try. 
I feel like just them watching is like my, a lot. It oh, live? I might leave my dick backstage though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My fault. Yeah, my dick man, upstairs. Eat mad pussy. Like, um, Melly, pass my dick. We, we're gonna. It, it's gonna that be a time. All right. Now, crazy. we're still two months away from that, so I'm still excited to. I can't you wait. Know I, mean? I can't wait. I can't wait. But it will be happening. You can go over to thehardestsoftshow.com. Say, wait, you don't have to do www anymore, though. All you have to do is say thehardestsoftshow.com. I don't think you have to do www for anything. You don't? No. What year are you in, bro? I'm old. You be, okay, that's fine. Can I sell the show? Did you watch did you listen to Confessions yet? I did. All right. Like it? Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> please, y'all, please. Don't drag your feet. There's one thing we always express. Please do not drag your feet, y'all. This is going to be an event that will be sold out very quickly. Tickets are actually already moving. We're not well, sold moving. out yet, but don't wait until it's sold out to text me him because I'm going to ignore it. The show, Please do the it now. Tickets are moving. Shout We're out moving. to y'all that have bought VIP tickets yes. to the live show. We are going live to the public. We saved this for the Discord for about a week or two weeks just yes. to make sure that people can get their VIP tickets. Privilege. But next week, the week that this comes out, we are actually releasing this to the public. So... If you don't have your VIP tickets, you will be in general admission behind everybody. You will not get the special surprises that I have been working on. Me, not Loon, not Millie. I got a surprise too, bitch. No disrespect to nobody else, but I've been working very hard on securing gift bags, experiences for people. Shout out to Angelo, the masseuse, who will also be there for the kinks and drinks experience. Yes, sir. Just understand it's going down, all right? Basement. Go to thehardestsoft.show.com to get your tickets. All right, yeah, Angelo's going to be in the building. Yes, I said it, Ty. And somebody else. I have enough. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. Let's see. Let's see. Jesus Christ. Loon, how you doing this week? Loon is doing really good. What made you dick hard, my brother? I had a good one. Oh! I remember. I remember the time. Yo, honestly and truly. You just hit a note. <clears throat> so I, I, I did this experience. Sorry. I did this experience twice in my life. The other time being the second time. We were at the play party for your birthday. Yeah. I think I might have had a three or a foursome in the orgy room. And I just looked up at the mirror. And I was just like, Fire. oh, shit. Fire. That's me. Fire. You feel me? So I ain't going to hold you. I was fucking not that long ago, and I got her stood up right in front of my dresser, and I'm just drilling her shit by my fucking cologne, just drilling, drilling, drilling. Yeah, six vials of cologne. Seven, <laughs> seven, bitch. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Seven. Go ahead. I just got the crease. I, so I just got. I just got. I just got the fucking collection. Um, like, whatever. I was so embarrassed. Shut up. Just shut up. All right. So I'm He's drilling. I'm drilling. Collection. And what we did was so you know like how you make eye contact with somebody, you know, you look at them. We was like looking at each other through the mirror, like eye contact through the mirror. And we just, I'm just looking in the mirror at her, she's looking in the mirror at me, and I'm just, yo, that shit was so sexy, son. Yeah. It was like a dot, like a boom, boom. Like, I can't explain what was going on. What but was that noise? Like a laser beam, this boom, boom. Like she's looking here, I'm looking there, we just need <coughs> here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, mirror shit is, mirror is, I don't want to say mirror play, I don't know if that's a real thing. Nah, that's the thing to do. But yeah. yo, mirrors is fire, son, damn. Definitely a thing to do. Would you get a mirror on your ceiling? Absolutely. You're going to get one soon now, aren't you? Um, when I get my crib, I imagine that me and my shorty will both be kink, um, a, like really into it, and we'll do things that will, you know, being that probably kids will be around, it'll make sense to us, but won't make sense to the kids. Yeah, until you're like 20, like, yo, my, yo, this nigga go free. So, mirror in the ceiling, you wouldn't even think about it as a kid. It's just like, oh, you got a mirror in the ceiling. You don't think about it. It's just like, oh, it's a mirror. But you don't realize that, yeah, I be wearing your mom's out and we be looking in this mirror while I'm wearing it out. Because I've been in situations like that where you, you've seen shit around and you, you don't, don't realize know what, what it is. is. But it's some shit. Some sh you I remember, like I said, I gave my mom a massager when I was 12 for what, Mother's Day. What must, like a regular massager? Like a wand. I had no idea that she was going to... I no, I didn't even realize that she, you, did she that She kept shit. it? It was in the closet for Matt Long, so apparently not. She didn't use it. She's a decent young lady. You know what I'm saying? But I, don't need that, but yeah. I would've. 
shit, once I fucking found out what it was. So you still got that? Yeah, yeah. Where's that Remember that Christmas at? in 87? For sure. For motherfucking <laughs> sure. But yeah, but so mirror yeah, mirror though, plays fire. That's tough, bro. So tough. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, as I said in my threesome dick yo, which will be dropping very... No, we wrapped it up. The right? clips. Oh, sorry. The cl- I didn't drop the clips oh, yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. The clips will be dropping <clears throat> very still, yeah. man. Listen. So we dropped my threesome dick yo on Patreon. And the ladies had a lot to say. One of the things that they said was me walking one into the other room and the other girl watching. But I've also done that to a play where I have taken a woman, I've been dog dog walking her while I'm fucking her and make her go in the mirror and just stare at herself. I said, look at yourself. You got a leash? Yeah. Leash or hair. A lot of times I like using hair as a leash. My bitches be bald. Or I'll use a shirt. If they haven't taken their shirt off, I wrap the shirt in my hand and I use that as like a you know restraint. But I'll make you go in the mirror and I tell I give you demand commands to look at yourself. Don't look at me. Don't watch me. Just look and at you. Look, look at yourself and you taking all that dick. You taking all that dick and I'm wilding her shit out and she's just watching herself. And a lot of times women like over they 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 can't deal with that that right there. It just blast off. Yeah. So cheat code, yeah. Dan. That was a good tip. You should use that as a tip. Yeah. Make a um, look at herself. <laughs> Ty said I need podcast. regular dick in my life. What? What the fuck? Shout out to y'all. Wrong place. All right. I mean, I, I'm I, here, I, ready to get into the hard and the soft. We are 100, uh, an hour and 44 minutes, 100 minutes. So what in. got your dick hard this week, young man? Me? <laughs> what got my dick hard this week? I ain't going to lie to you, the rock hards. Literally. <laughs> the Literally cards. and figuratively. The rock cards. So I've been um doing you know, first of all, I had COVID a couple weeks ago. Um Strap through my yeah. My 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 chest was going through some shit. The vape was fucking with me. I wasn't able to really, you know, perform the way I wanted to. And I had an incredible session here with a few women uh recently. They didn't want me to talk about it. I will say the Rock Hearts. Saved you. And those, shout out to, to my regular customers. The people who know, like, you know, these shits is, is, for, is the truth. But the Rock Hearts, bro, you take those shits, and I still have some available. Melly, we still have a couple Rock Hearts left, right? Yeah. Um, them shits really get the job done. Them, the Chocolate Door, the Juice. Anytime I take any of them, I just have like a really hard dick. Like really, really, really hard dick. And there's nothing like fucking a pussy with a really, really, really hard dick. It's different. You. you feel different in there. It's that. like real like really it's like on your some shit, shit. Like on a your dick Rambo. on a mission. You Ram being <clears throat> the operative word. Rambo. So yeah, shout out to my products. <laughs> shout out to my products. Yo, I'm very proud of, of myself. More. Huh? I don't think you have any more. Yeah, I'm very proud of my products. Shout so. to you. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. We're here. On the hard or soft show, and I'm ready to get into the hard. The things that make you hard. The things you like about sex in the bedroom. What do you got? So, to be honest with you, <clears throat> you ever like... You ever like had an itch and you scratched it? Mm-hmm. That's how I feel sometimes where I be like super duper horny and I get some box. So I'll be honest, there was times where like, I be like, yo, the only way to describe it is like a dog in heat. Like once in a blue, I don't get like that over, but sometimes I be in heat mm-hmm. and my dick just, he just don't, he just bugs the fuck out. Mm-hmm. And that's when I'll be texting like 30 bitches and get no responses. But when you in heat, and you got somebody to cool you down? Oh my God! So what, what? What gets me hard about sex, honestly and truly, is when I got somebody to scratch my itch. Like I always love sex, but there's times where I love it more than others. So I just like when box be available at that time when I really, really need it. Mm-hmm. It's almost like somebody makes you. You put milk in your eyes. You be like, I get in the box and I be like, ah, yeah. finally. Yeah. You it's like me? when you so, eat a cracker when you're starving. Just, Yo, just need a, pack a piece of bread, something. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I be starving and like feed me box. Like it, it sounds mad basic, but yo, sometimes I be going through it, bro. I don't know what it is, especially if it's been like a like a week or so, and I just I ain't I ain't let one off. So my dick just like nigga, what about me? I'm here, still yours. Take care of me. You yeah, feel so me? I'm still yours. 
Talking about your penis? Yeah. <laughs> that was wild. You gave it a voice. It's yours. Yeah, you gave it, you <laughs> gave it a voice. Now you gave it Drake's but, voice. You rap. <laughs> you gave your penis Drake's voice. I did not give my That's penis nuts. Drake's voice. I did not give my penis yeah, you Drake's just, voice. You just said no, it's yours. I did not give That's, my penis. I know this song. That's Drake's voice. I didn't give my That's penis. That's nuts. I didn't give my you gave penis. Your, you a dark skin nigga. You gave your dick a light skin nigga. You should have gave it like Brian McKnight or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> on it. On it. On it. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, Odin is I was crazy. just listening to that song every day. It's nuts. What's wrong with you? I am diabolical, son. Oh my God. Something is really wrong with me, son. Oh my God. It's, that nigga said, it's yours. Yo, it's yours. <laughs> Odin. 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 <laughs> All right. Something is really oh wrong with me, son. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. I want to tell y'all about the things that make me hard. Um, the things that I like in the bedroom. Unfortunately... Or ironically, it actually isn't things that are happening in the bedroom. It's things that are happening outside of the bedroom. And I have a video that I'd like to show you. Big fire. I'm going to put the video into the Discord right now so that they can see what the hell's going on over here. Mm. Damn, they in there sending all types of fucking... I just see some Discord. fuckery. Some fuckery, that? I just see some fuckery. The Discord is they Discord, in there man. sending their own videos in the motherfucking shit and titties and yo the yo, Discord is like Pornhub. Somebody, oh, yo, one of your shorties is on you, bro. She is on you. What are you saying? Crazy. What 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 are you seeing that I'm not seeing? Anyway, I'm I'm gonna wait because she told me she was gonna send you a listener letter, so I'm gonna wait to see what happens. But I just put the video into I gotta the, the chat, Melly. Please. Give us some sound. God damn, a titty's a titty. Yeah, yeah, titty's a titty, 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 titty. Look, look, look at this long. What do you see? Oh, uh, no! What do you see? I am not seeing this. Yeah, what do you see? What? Oh my, I'm seeing a nigga that looks like he's at brunch in Houston at a pool party amongst men. Oh! No! Yeah, vibes. Vibes. Yeah, talk about it. Talk no! About it. Yeah, talk about the vibes. I'm seeing a gentleman yeah. that looks like he's at a pool party amongst mad people sitting down chilling and you see just the arm just stroking his dick but you can't see the person. They yeah. kind of like out of camera. Yeah. And then like out of nowhere when you think the video's about to be over I'm thinking he about to like let one off. Her head comes out of nowhere and she yeah. puts the joint in her mouth but yeah. in front of everybody like it's fucking tripping grits. Yeah. What the fuck is this? I ain't gonna hold you. I, I look at this a little bit differently. What I see is a, a person in a precarious situation. She's around her family. They're in the backyard. Family? It looks like they're in the backyard. It looks like that's her aunts. It looks like that's that her can't friends. That can't be her family, son. What? Yeah. That, that can't that. be her family, son. Fam Yo, who's that? Is that a bonnet right there in the pink? Is that a bonnet? No, it's not a bonnet. That's the color of her hair. Okay. In any case, fine. What I saw was a person <laughs> in a precarious situation. They're around friends, family, whatever it may be. Family? Yeah, family. Maybe. Family makes family. the situation litty though. I ain't gonna more litty. That's like, why. I, sucking that's my dick. Sucking my dick in front of Aunt Sandy is tough. Crazy. <laughs> Sandy like, is nuts. Crazy. That's a hurricane. Son. But um, <laughs> no pun intended. The oh fact that God. she she was so into, they were so connected with each other mm -hmm. that they were able to have this sexual experience behind everybody's back, and then she got so turned on that she wanted to suck his shit. But how the fuck everybody knew not to turn around? They didn't. Everybody's vibing. Everybody's Son. chilling. They probably playing spades. They doing whatever they doing. Son. And sh they just over there chilling. His feet is up. He's watching on the, the game. Table. That's the, I'm watching the game position. <laughs> Yo, this nigga, both feet is on the table. And them tables, that table is not a sturdy table. You know, I've been on them tables. That look like a family table. I see why you say that. I like the table in your aunt backyard. In the like, backyard. look like that. And she gave that nigga some neck real quick. Some, I, I, some I, 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 on video. Child, this is like a triple. Shout out minute. to the people out there that are still inside them, outside amongst other people. Shout out to the people that's willing to do some wild shit. Inside you know what I'm saying? Them, I'm outside, outside with Shorty today. I said, yo, you want me to fuck you right here? She just. <laughs> 
I said, I ain't going to do that. that they got cameras. Shit, they had cameras. I ain't going to do that. You pussy. We had to walk downstairs. You pussy. I'm more think so thinking about her. She said she with it. She didn't say it. She said, huh. She said, hmm. She said, hmm. Hmm. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what? Listen, we don't. Call, yeah. If yes is yes and no is no. You know what I'm we saying? If it's not here. emphatic. Yes. As okay? we say in the, in, yes. in the goddamn. Um, Fuck. God damn it. Consent speech. If yes. it's not an emphatic yes, yes. But it was the middle of a store. Would you fuck somebody in the middle of a store? What well, aisle am I in? Huh? What well, aisle am I in? What well, aisle am I are we in? It wasn't a food store. We was upstairs in a clothing store. Ooh. And yeah. we was the only person up there. Like, yeah, yeah. But man. they had a camera up there. Bitch, bend over right by this polo. Real quick. What, are you dumb? Get right by them suits, bitch. Put you Knock in the rack. Knock her into the rack. Right into the fucking rack. Hide you in a Steve Harvey suit. You know them shit's big enough. Fuck is you talking about? Where the big and tall section at? Nigga like said, where the big and tall? <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? God damn it! I'm really interested, in, and I, I like the idea of being um, an exhibitionist outside, but sneaky, like because exhibitionist is almost like you don't you, you don't care who's watching. It's like a play party, but sneaky, like is almost yeah, like, like we gonna get in trouble if they find us. I yeah. like that. Like, you got hit. That's what you start fucking like. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? You got a straight jab. You just, like, you dance and just. Yo, this nigga's stupid. It's 746 and we almost on our way out of here. But we have to talk about the things that make us soft, the things that we don't like about sex. So, my soft, I I I like it, but I also don't like it. Is that weird? Yeah, I so I ain't gonna front, son. It's something about a chick that keeps sucking after you nut. So like, I like it, but then I don't. Yo. Like, I gotta come out and say it. Like, I don't know, I don't, it depends on where my dick is at that day. Like, where's my dick mentally that day? Cause if I, like, when I, like, it's, if it's a vibe, like for a millisecond, but after that millisecond is up, it's, dare I say, unpleasant, a tad bit? Is it unpleasant? I hate it. Yeah, like it's fake unpleasant. I'm nothing the other day. Shorty jumps off, love the enthusiasm, <laughs> goes to get it. Shout outs to you. Now there are some that do it and it's like, okay, you jerking it onto your face, you letting it run down off your tongue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Love yeah. that, love that. Mm-hmm. Sucking it out my urethra. It's tough, son. It's rough. So that hurts. Yo. It hurts. My problem with them, so I don't have a problem with you doing it, but the fact that you're doing it and the tank is empty now, it's like I don't have nothing else. Like the store is closed. It's the ones that do it on their face, rub it on their tits, they get it everywhere on them. That shit dripping. They shoot it on them. Fire. Fire. That putting your mouth around my shit. Son, I'd be like, like a You're killing yo, the vibe. Son, son, yo, you really like, yo, you're really, that's not a pleasant, like, it's cool for a quick, like, I don't, don't, just don't do it. Don't do it. Not to me. Just chill. Just chill on me. After I say I'm done, I am done. The shop is closed. Please, son, relax. I have had it where it was okay, but I feel like they wasn't sucking it. Sucking yeah. is crazy. It's like you still giving head, like, yeah. It's like you you giving still head. giving head after. But I'm even done. so, like my yeah. shit is on fire. My dick is like exploding right now. Yeah, like, yo, chill. It's almost the same as when women. Do y'all like when a guy keeps eating when you're nutting? It's it's cool, but it leave it alone. I'm nutting. Let me nut. Yeah. Overdoing it hurts. And women will push you away. That's why they yeah. squeeze their legs. They push you away. They you turn their side. You ever got caught in between? Shit. Now you in her leg like this. Like, oh, nigga. <laughs> because, nigga, stop. Stop. Oh, it hurts. Yeah, like, it feels good, but it hurts. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think that I'm going to, sorry for saying this, I'm going to double team that. That's going to be my soft as well. Yeah. Sucking while I'm nutting, no go. Chill out. No blood clot. Chill out. <laughs> Chill out. Now you can suck while I'm nutting, but when I'm like when it's the tank is empty. Nah, don't suck while I'm nutting. Chill out. You suck. Sh- shoot that shit on my on your face. Nah. Shoot that shit on your titties. Nah. Good nut in the mouth. When yo when you let one off. Bah! 
That shit be tough. Son. Nah, he's what? a he's a blood blood. He's a blood clot. <laughs> he's a blood. Stop clot. your blood clot crying. You know what I'm saying? Yo, facts. And Hito said it just now. At least leave the tip or the clit alone. Like facts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Word. word. You can suck the dick. Suck the Go dick. down to the neck. Go down to the fucking um <clears throat> to the shaft and all that. Leave my head out of it. Yo, leave my head out the deal. Yeah. Don't be doing that. Leave the, the, the leave the hole alone. We ain't headed nowhere fast. Okay. See what I did you ain't heading nowhere fast. Head, you never heard that saying? No, but heading. Because of the head. And of no, no. You're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you're an insane individual. You're an insane individual. After he come, leave um, the balls alone. Leave my balls alone too, actually. Matter of fact, don't touch me. After this, let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Leave my balls alone. Because I don't know how to suck balls out of them. I have a tip. But I feel like it is more so what most women already want. And I don't think that men are that good at it. Honestly? And I have a video for that. Oh. I'm going to put the video into the Discord. Um, you guys already know. I love y'all so much. Shout out to the Discord. Shout out to the people that are out there supporting us. Time, um, day in and day out. Melly, I hear it myself. Do, 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 do. And we're putting it into the Discord right now. Loon. What are we seeing? A Tahoe. What are we seeing? You and me. Put, the, vo- put the volume up. There's no volume. It's a gift. Oh, this is a gift? Yeah. Yo, I'm seeing a young lady laying down on the couch, feet in the air. And I'm seeing a nigga hitting her with that fucking tongue fuck you middle finger combo over and over and over. But you could tell on the look of his face. She, she not sleeping. She just looked very relaxed. And like she just looks like she's I in think a she's bliss. focused on her nut. Yeah, like that's, that shit's sexy though. Look at her. You see her I'm face? not going to lie to you. Damn, you see them legs? I don't think that I've been good at this maneuver for most of my entire life. <clears throat> Sucking pussy, it takes so much concentration for me. I don't really know how Damn, to suck sex. pussy and finger at the same finger time. at the same time. Um, I think also it's positioning. If you look at his position, he she's up, he's down beneath the bed. So he's mm-hmm. his knees are on the floor. Yeah. And I think that that's a great position to suck pussy and finger in. For some time. reason, going up is easier than going in. Mm-hmm. And you would have to watch this on YouTube. So check this out on YouTube. Look, we're getting um, comments in the Discord. That's the shit I like. A king. A king, I said. The position that he's in is one where he's able to suck. Don't forget the socks. She does have one of Chris Pale waist. But he's able to also. And if you <clears throat> notice the angle of his fingers, he's hitting her G-spot. Yeah. He's able to hit a G spot because he's below her. Mm-hmm. So his strokes with the hand are going up and actually hitting that spot, which will make her nut. Mm-hmm. I believe from, from what I'm seeing and what I understand about women's anatomy, anatomy is that she is actually just able to really focus on the fact that she's getting superior pleasure right now. Fellas, go down on the floor. She's up. Eat the pussy like that. You're licking the fucking clit. You're sucking the clit. But your fingers are able to do more damage on the going <laughs> or more productivity on the going because it's above you versus you being laying on the bed. And sometimes I get lost in that. Like when I'm on the bed and I'm trying to eat box, hitting it with the finger stroke at the same time while I'm trying to eat box, it's kind of weird for my shoulders. And my arm, it's weird because I'm not able to focus on the box and hit it the way it's like. Even right now, it's like, you, you, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's a weird angle. But if I'm below her and I'm eating it, I'm able to go up like this mm-hmm. while I eat it. Yeah. You feel me? More leverage. It's more leverage. It's and more I never really realized until I saw this video. How many times do you watch this? Nigga, I'm, how many times we watch it today? This is at least 10 times. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And shit, even in the video, this is a gift. So we're That's watching it. That's a good screensaver right there. Yeah. Um, That's sexy. Damn. Now, J- Jamina says, don't just pump. Bend your fingers. What the heck? Um, 
Yo, honestly, I'm working with y'all, bro. I'm doing my best over here, okay? So he trying. Relax on the what the heck because neither one of y'all said to do this. None of y'all be telling niggas what to do. This is why Hardest Off is here. It's because the guys are sitting here trying to educate each other on how to please y'all. But y'all be so fucking quiet. Y'all don't say, yo, look, do this. Go here. You don't Stroke it like this. Y'all don't say that. Y'all only tell us when y'all complaining. And that shit crazy to me. Loon, do you have a tip? I don't have a tip today. All right, cool. Um, I want to get another drink. I will see you in DR. Well, I'm going to see you next week. You're going to see me. But I'm going to see you. And then before I see you in DR, I'm going to see you in the live show. You got your outfit? I don't have no outfits. <clears throat> you got outfits. I don't. I just got an outfit just for that show. I got to pee. I actually have to go to the bathroom. I mean, right. I go and go to Me the barbershop. This is the hardest off show. Today's the day. When you say freaky, what, what's, what's freaky? What you, what you mean by freaky? All right, if I do this, you're not going to tell your friends, right?